Stop being so sensitive, bitch. You ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titties done. Is Trina there? Trina! World, are y'all ready? You know what's up when this sound begin. We about to go in. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this. Cracking jokes and singing, we won't miss. 5150 up in this bitch. Yeah, you ain't never seen a show like this. Ghetto folks gon' be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you kiss yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah 5150-2022 It's on I'm about to say some real things Hit the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah What's up? 5150 in the house I am Corey Holcomb, Darlene OG Ortiz You know Marcus Yes sir, yes sir Jumping right into things. Um, yo, up here at the Coin Academy, home of the Baller Podcast. Mm. Um, if I just speak 100 about it, the the, the, the head leader, we lost our leader, um, my brother, Lalo, passed. One of the guys up here with the Baller Podcast. And what I'm saying to y'all is this. Mm. You want to be remembered like that. You want to be remembered as a man who is no nonsense. A man with a big heart. No punk. No punk at all. All I ain't never seen him not treat anybody fair. He got charities and everything that shows that he's a a man with a moral compass. Um, this was up for real. Darlene used to tell me something about uh, the brother and his um, offerings toward the 5150 show, but I never listened to Darlene. <laughs> no, he didn't, and he actually, yeah. I never listened to Darlene, but one day when I was talking to um um, Gooch about, you know, different things that was happening with the studio. Gooch was telling me about this brother. He was like, man, he was like, you ain't got to worry about none of that. whoop de whoop de woo Because we used to have, we used to be at studios. People would pop up on us and, and do things that I felt like was kind of weird. But so I listened to, I, I finally, I finally was like, well, let me see what's up. Darlene had told me about him. Then Gooch told me about him. I came up here. I was here, uh, I was here one time. I, I mentioned it to him, but you didn't know what I was talking about. You mentioned it too? I definitely yeah, wasn't I listening to you. Yeah. You didn't know him? You didn't yeah, even know him. Yeah, when I came to a party, I said that. Oh, they, it was they, way before that. Like, yeah. Way before. They had just started, and he was reaching out to me. Yes. Yeah, I came to one of their parties with somebody, and they, they were talking to me because they knew who I was. Good dude. Well, anyway, when I met my brother, it's been 
we clicked from day one. And the reason we clicked, cause he a man. Like he wasn't no, I, I ain't see a lot of slick stuff about my brother. When I say a lot of slick stuff, that didn't come out right. I ain't seen nothing slick. Exactly at all. I, I see my man talk straight up, be straight up. Even though he kind, you couldn't take advantage of him because he give you that look. <laughs> he do be like, <laughs> he ain't say a lot, but when you when you do it too much, he'll be like. <laughs> a lot of people don't see that look because a lot of people don't do that much. But then if you ever did do too much, you would see my brother do something like this. Uh, I remember I was asking about him maybe about three weeks, month ago. I was glad to see him here. Mm. That was my last time seeing him when he was here. It was. And, uh, you know, he just was a G. He didn't want everybody to be, like, worried about him and things like that. Thank you, Remy. Straight up G. Solid. Not, um... Definitely solid. It, it, it's, it's, it's like I know of... I've heard of some dogs, when they sick, and they know they're gonna die. They go and they hide go up under they the house. Away. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. My brother didn't want to see all us. There he is at the end. And, and yeah, that's see, my brother at the end. He was always at the end because he didn't really want to take a picture. But he, he wasn't the picture type. Yeah. He wasn't the picture type. He wasn't that type of guy. He was. <sighs> um. Anyway, man, I ain't got nothing but positive things to say about my brother. I met a lot of people through my brother. And um, I'm saying like, you strive to be like that in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. to be what I call a G. A G is a motherfucker who do what they say and say what he mean. That's right. a G. So, uh, Yeah, that's my man right. talking to us right now. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who know Lalo, he'll be like, "Man, go on with the show with that 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 cake ass." <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! Uh, uh, yeah, he was, that's somebody put a bud of the law there. He was they, that yeah, was their right. rap group. Yeah. See, I was just I was just telling the youngsters over there, Abe and Nail. Nail blesses. He didn't even know that when we made those shirts, what they meant. And right. They're, they're on. They're in the store, by the way. But not a lot of people caught on to that. Above that the meant. law. Right. Fifty one fifty show is above the law. We fifty one fifty show. Yeah. yeah. It's a is above the law. Mm -hmm. That's the shirts we made to um, honor my brother when we first. Cause we was like, what we gonna do? We, you, yeah, you can't give so Laylaw like nothing out no mall or nothing. He, no. he ain't really that type. He never dressed flashy. Yeah, I never. Very saw. low key. Right. And again, it speaks volumes when you see the other type of people that are around him. You right. Know what I'm talking about. You see right. The different people that come through here. That they, <laughs> but they all have respect for him. Right. But it's but you see, it, it probably changed your mind about some of them too. You know what I'm saying? If you saw, and you're like, wait a second, he would not be around them if they weren't some real, right, know, dudes. So, yeah, I, I like how I was somber for a second, and then some said, "Stop being so sensitive, man." I'm telling you, that's my brother, man. That's my brother talking to us, man. Do he like Corey? Do the show, motherfucker. Uh, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm right. saying? Yeah. Corey, do the damn show, man. Right? You know how he talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be like, if he was here right now, he'd be like, do the show. <laughs> I, it, it, don't worry about me, I'll be all right. You know, your life is something that you have to give to people that come in your presence. Everybody who come in your presence, you know what I'm saying, and you speak to, you're giving them something. So all the people who are of morality, think about what you're giving people when you open your mouth. Hmm. I mean, I'm a bold comic. I say some bold things and all like that. But, you know, people who are in my presence, I do my best to be a gentleman. And uh, the definition of a gentleman, you try to make people comfortable around you. I do my best to be a gentleman. And uh, my brother, who I hate, I never get a chance to 
lay my eyes on him and watch him coming down them stairs right there. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, my brother. I, I'm so glad I met you. I'm so glad I met you. Same and here. all the people that I met through you, because I met some Gs. That's right. Yeah. Through Laylo. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Says a lot about a man who we keep around him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say it louder. Say a lot about a man who we keep around him, too. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Look at that picture oh, right there, man. That's a great man. one right there. I like that one. <laughs> oh, my look, look at Corey over there looking like Frank Mucus. <laughs> <laughs> That's Corey Holcomb, Laylo, Gomek, Macca. I'm proud of that picture right there. It ain't a chump on there. And we laugh a lot of times. If, if it's a chump on there, it's me. <laughs> if it's a chump on there, it's me. And I don't think I'm no chump, to be quite honest. I got I'm, I'm, man, I want that picture right there, man. I'm put that picture. Yeah, it's a gold picture. Up on my wall, man. On your mama, on your daddy. Go Mac, go Mac. Look, him and go Mac. Go Mac too, Mac too, look with the hat. Go Mac, Macca. I ain't never seen none of them on no fuck shit. Mm -mm. None of them. But anyway. Mm -hmm. We are the 5150 show. From the, from the Coin Academy. We get all kinds of descriptions of what we are. But this show is a show that is put together not just for laughing and joking, but laughing and joking about some real, real things. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, first of all, hey, go back down with say the $5. What my man say? Phoenix Black. That's a woman. He doesn't have his glasses on. Dee want me to wear glasses like her so bad, boy. I not. I'm telling you, the man can't see. I'm just looking out for him. Dee want me to wear glasses like her. And that's a pretty picture of her. Look, with all the blue. There it is. What's she say, though? She said. Nice. R.P. Lalo. I was proud of the show in Dallas. I felt like I put on a good show for the people. Um, I mean, Dad, you had this show work. I thought it was a real good show, man. Yeah. I think good. people enjoyed that show. So, once again, everybody who came to the theater in Dallas this past weekend, uh, I appreciate y'all. But um, let's get into this shit. Okay. Get to talking this shit. First of all, when I got off the airplane, TMZ ran up to me and they was asking me what I think about that Martin Luther King mural they got out now. Oh my God. Please, uh, please who please made please. that? That's some fuck shit. No, not mural. You talking about the sculpture. Oh, sculpture, whatever okay. you want to call it. <laughs> Statue, sculpture. Oh my God. That's some fuck shit. And, and, I mean, like, what is it supposed to, what is it? Supposed to represent? That's supposed to be art? I, mm, supposed to be a hug without a body. Like, if they made a mural, if they if they made a mural of Marcus, I mean, like that, what would it be? An arm going up with some wet shit under there? A little fountain <laughs> under there? Corey, you looking like a mule. You look like an Arkansas Razorback, nigga. You look like a mascot. Okay, D, what if, they made a, what if they made a mural of you? What, what would it be? <laughs> it would probably be the classic, I guess, uh, power image. I don't no, that'd be you pointing at somebody saying, you did it. Oh, brother. No, here, I got the information on it. So the monument is by artist Hank Willis Thomas, and I believe he's black. I'm not sure. Um, it's called. You believe he's black. It's important to I, know. No, I, I did see him. Somebody make it. I'll, I'll look it up. But but right now, let me just say that what the, the meaning of it is. His name is Hank Willis Thomas. It's called The Embrace, of course. And it's meant to honor the relationship between the kings, which is he and his wife. It was specifically inspired by a 1964 photograph of the couple hugging after MLK um, had been announced as the winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. Somebody said mural is a picture. Is a mural a picture? Yeah. Mural on a wall. 
A mural? Yeah. I might have learned something today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. On a wall. And it's Directly on a wall. Yeah. So it's and not a mural. It is a a sculpture. Sculpture or stat? They calling it the statue. A statue uh, of a monument to MLK. Right. I don't like that shit at all. Well, nobody liked that other stand-in one of him. Remember the other full-on actual statue of him, like carved into that stone? That didn't look that great either. But it was him. It was an attempt. But the arms? Mm. Hmm. Oof. There's something about it that just, it's like when you see it, I shouldn't have to say, what is this? <laughs> Damn. Mm-hmm. All of the memes that's been made Oh, please. Uh, brilliant. Oh, my God. Brilliantly wicked. <clears throat> that kind of looked like a heart right there, actually. Oh, so that's the hug. That's the actual hug of theirs. Okay. Yeah, it kind of looked like a heart. You didn't know what it was? No, no, uh, no. I'm, I'm saying their photo. I, oh, yeah, I can yeah, yeah. actually see that, though. Okay. Oh, you know, yeah, I've seen, I've seen uh, now. people, people was posting it. Somebody say they'll give us but everything. But if you're looking at it from right equality. there, it actually, actually looked like a heart. I think this. Did they, did they I don't look like no heart. <laughs> or, or Stop. I can't. Yeah, dude, it's like the shape of a heart. Oh, he is. He is. He black? Mm-hmm. Okay. American conceptual artist. Well, I know him look like your heart. He's mm-hmm. from Brooklyn. That look like when your leg to wrap around a bitch head when she getting you head. <laughs> Somebody said, is that a turd? That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> look like 6 9 position to me. <laughs> I can't. I know. mean, I'm just saying. Oh, the shape above. Don't show above like that. That looks like. Somebody no. said it looked like when old boy was chaking, ch- choking out baby boy. It looked like it looked like somebody running the ball on football. And why do the nails look so scary? It looks like he just got finished working on a car. Look, it looks like mechanic thumb. Right, <laughs> mechanic thumb. I look, it looks blacker on the nail. Oh no, it looks like Irv's. It looked like Irv hand. <laughs> Sorry, Irv. That's the mechanic it. dude we know. No, that looked better than Irv hand. Oh. Irv hands is so woe out, boy. I'm like same color boy. though. You touch your pussy, you oh. need antibiotics, and you ain't even fucking nobody. Oh. <laughs> oh, Irv give a bitch transmissioner oh. if he touch a pussy with them hands. <laughs> What's wrong with her? They gotta see a, a, hand, a picture. This bitch got WD forty. <laughs> <laughs> but that up uh, that pic that shot from above don't look good because that looks like a like a cracked ass. Yeah, I don't like. That. Why is somebody rubbing the balls? I don't mm. know. Anyway, oh, anyway, that's terrible. Marcus, hmm? Woo. if your girl came home, oh shit, here we go. After a night at the club, listen to this, y'all, because y'all need to listen to this shit. I'm about to try to get deep. I say I'm going to try to get deep. Hmm. If your girl come home after a night at the club and tell you some dude Mm -mm. grabbed her ass. Now, she don't know where he at or nothing like that. But when she went to the club, some dude grabbed her ass. What do you tell her? What you have on? Or you say you had on that? <laughs> you had that on? Yeah. Irv texted me. No. <laughs> he say, fuck you. <laughs> Irv, your hands fucked up, yeah. dog. You got, you got to flirt with bitches with winter gloves on in June. He does. He does. That nigga on the car right now. Right. <laughs> what that nigga say? All right. <laughs> nigga putting a screw on a trailer home right now. Anyway, no, but you would tell her, you would ask her what she have on. Well, I, I would probably see that when she when she come in, but that that'd be the first thing. Like, what did you have on something that you know what I mean that was revealing? Uh, you know, cause, well, first of all, you you shouldn't be having on nothing inappropriate in any way going out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Without you, yeah. But that'd be the first problem if if if, if it did, but. I mean, if it did happen, it's there's not really much I can do about that. You it's know what I'm saying? Point. It, it, it's kind of late in the field. Yeah, like 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 I ain't there. You know what I'm saying? And you was out there. Who was you out there? Who was you out with? You was with, out with your friends. You was out. All this stuff is important. What you saying? Yeah, like who you was out there with your homegirls? That what, what, what didn't didn't none of them say nothing to the nigga? Like what what was everybody else at when you was at, when you was 
when the, when the nigga came what up and was did the outcome? this. Like, yeah, I want to know. I got I got I got to know full details. Mm-hmm. You know and what I'm then, saying? And then after that, you can give her some game if she if that. D, shit what happens. do you because do when was, a guy touch your ass in public? Oh my God! I, I wish somebody would. Because <laughs> <laughs> my thing is, if you were disrespected, that, yeah. if you was disrespected in front of your friends, your friends let that shit slide. Then why are you going out with them? I mean, this yeah. Marcus, what you saying is important. I had stuff like that happen, but not that. You mean like if she with her homegirls? Mm-hmm. But what could they do? That's yeah, true. Hey, hey, don't don't touch out because you know it's girls that do that. You, it's girls you even try to you, if you try to speak to their friend. Uh, uh, hey, you know what I mean? Them the kind of homegirls you need to be hanging out with. I need the cock blockers with you. I've had it. I've had it happen. You take it, bitch. Snap around and you just go. You know, there's, there's, there's. Uh, how you say? Moments where you can, you have time to like, you know, get it together. In other words, not turn around and just all of a sudden snap at whoever was behind you. Whatever you turn around. I've had it happen where the person actually made the friend apologize. Like he, you know, they ratted on him. Like he did it. You know, what I'm saying like they felt bad that their friend was being an asshole or what have you. And you turn around and be like, man, what the really? Come on, man. That was, that, come on, that wasn't cool at all. Whatever. Ooh, and they act stupid, but then the friends are at least, you know, apologizing or what have you. But I've never had it happen where it was some guy and an asshole. I'm like, yeah, and what you gonna do? I've never had that that situation happen. So, fortunately, oh goodness. It's um, it's part of life in America. Like it don't just happen in the club. Right. It don't happen at work as often as it would yeah, if it yeah. wasn't for laws mm. at the job. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I just see a lot of women who are totally lost and unaware of the danger that they put themselves in walking into the lion's den. Mm-hmm. A nightclub is a lion's den. Yeah. I mean, like, yo, people say, oh, yeah, we're going? just out having fun. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you're in a nightclub, ladies, you are in, you, you, you know what you are? You're a sheep in the lion's den if you're at a nightclub. And um, a little research, um, I did on this where they have um, actual names of things that make sense, and I'm gonna try to make it make it make sense um, because yo, we're we're all in chaos in America, man. We're we're in chaos. We don't even know how to protect ourselves. It's bad. I'm, I'm not just saying America. Right. Like, I'm saying in London and all these places. Mm-hmm. Like, I was listening to that brother, uh, Tate. Um, Andrew, Tate. Andrew Tate. I was listening to him. It was so funny. Like, when I retweet things, he say, a lot of people say, he's a Nazi. <laughs> like, okay. Listen, I can learn from anybody. So if he is a Nazi, he say a lot of, important things that I think a lot of people should listen to. Um, But he's, you know that's a black man, right? A lot of people don't know that's a black man. He a half-breed. He a half-breed. Father was a light-skinned black dude. (laughs) No, (laughs) my my wife's father was a very fair-skinned brother. And her mother was white. So it used to be weird. I used to be like, damn, she almost looked like she's white. But it's a real brother named Terrell. That's her dad name, black man. Um, and I'm saying like, oh boy, if I hadn't married my wife, I wouldn't know how to see people the way I see people. I can tell when somebody is not Caucasian. Cause like there are black people who used to pass for Caucasian back in the day. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I just saw a really good documentary about that. You know? Yeah, you know. But when you're um, around certain people, somebody said he from Chicago too, Corey. I ain't know that. 
when you're around certain people, then you can recognize them when you see them. Mm-hmm. I did not know there was a difference between Mexicans and Puerto Ricans until I moved. Yeah. Out of Chicago. Yeah. Me too. Now I'm like, oh, I get it now. I didn't know the his the origin and none of that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying like, getting back to the point I'm trying to make, I want all you ladies to understand. If you're at a nightclub, you can't be protected. If you're at a nightclub around all kinds of maniacs, Mm -hmm. you're basically in the lion's den. I want you to understand that. The, um, like, let me, let me just say this to you. Let me say this to you. Who are you the safest around with these people, D? This is so important. I want you to try to answer this. Between your father, brother, son, uncle, or husband, who are you the safest around? Well, she got to cr- cross one of them out. Well, hopefully the husband. The husband? Okay. I would, I mean, if I was, you know, married and, I, and you asked that question, I'd be like, well, my husband. But if not, then next would probably be my brother. Okay. Marcus, who do you think a woman is the safest around? Gee, they better be the husband. If he's, right, she's married. She if she's married, it better be a husband. Mm-hmm. She, that's what he vowed. It is my opinion, the most purest relationship a woman will have is one with her son. Your son ain't gonna never want no pussy from you. If your son won't pussy from you, he needs to be taken out what back and shot. Are, what are those relatives? What are you talking about? Saying ain't no ulterior motive behind it. Your are. uncle will fuck you. Oh, I can't with this. Your father will fuck you. This guy right here. Do you know I, about I, California? Oh, my God. <laughs> the safest is the son. And the brother. I would have never brought, I, the only reason I na- wouldn't say my son is because, first of all, I wouldn't bring him no drama that I couldn't be. Not on him. purpose. I mean on purpose. You wouldn't bring your son drama on purpose. Well, but what I'm saying that. is a woman got to understand her son is the one motherfucker who don't want no pussy from her. But, uh, but, and secondly, would probably be her brother. But you got to understand a nigga will kill you over some pussy. What you mean? I'm saying, you said, what was the question? What was the original question? Who, out of those out of those people I said, who are you the safest around? And I'll say it again. Father, brother, son, uncle, husband. Okay, okay. safest, safest. Okay, oh, I, I, I didn't know you said safe. Now, a husband and a father, we're going to talk about them. I was going to say, because when you were younger, say, cause, I was going to say dad, but when you're a grown woman. So you I was going to say, because the husband... Depending on how much you fuck with you, it will go to the ends of the earth for your ass about that cooch. About the pussy or whatever. I'm yeah. saying like niggas will kill you about that pussy now. No. She yeah. Period if they love me. Man, niggas done killed her for the pussy. What about the your pussy? son <laughs> don't <laughs> want about? Your son <laughs> don't want sex from you. Your brother don't want sex from you. Now let's talk about the uncle father and who else I'm forgetting? The the uncle father husband you would think your father don't want pussy from you but here's the truth oh my god here's the truth Corey's truth we live in a world that's so off balance and crooked i've had multiple women tell me they father came at them wow. i've heard that too mm. wow have you heard that too marcus yeah Everybody's heard that, that there are situations like that. But how many? You got a lot of people like that around you? I'm not saying what I got around me. I don't really know nothing about that. Mm. But I have had, somebody say, unless you're in Alabama. Y'all motherfucking stupid. (laughs) I have had three women in California tell me their father tried to fuck with them. In California? Yes. They're from especially California. them stepfathers. Oh, that's another. Situation. You can say especially stepfathers, but I'm talking about. That's really not their father. That's just a, another man. I mean, if he married the mama, technically, 
The reason it's like that because the world is off balance and, oh. and, 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 and the repercussions that should be are not in place. Your uncle will try to fuck with you. Not necessarily in traditions outside of the U.S. influence. Like there's real repercussions for doing certain things in some countries like if your father, your uncle try to flirt with you. Now your husband, by nature, yes, he's going to fuck with you. He should be fucking with you. But how many women do you know know how to pick a quality man to call her husband? How many women do you know know how to pick a quality man and say, this is going to be my husband? Most of the women I see in America, the man they pick to be their husband is not fucking with them like that. That's not, that shouldn't be your husband. I'm saying like, I'm not saying what your duty is once you marry a man. I'm saying, I'll put it to you like this. Tom Brady wife out there looking for a nigga who wears size 17 shoe right now. That's all I'm trying to tell you right now. <laughs> okay, but it's not her uncle. <laughs> it's not her uncle. But what I'm saying is her leaving Tom Brady at a time where he definitely would need a family to come home to. I mean, he's still in the NFL trying to excel and he sucks. When you come home, your family is what repairs you. Bitch gone. Pussy in the game. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't agree with I don't agree with that whole thing, what she just did there. What do you mean? Like I'm with you. I, I don't what? agree that she why she left him. Well he chose wrong then, didn't he? Exactly. I agree exactly. with that too. There you go, Marcus. I, that's why when they try to make Tom Brady, somebody who is, oh, he's a great all-American guy. Nigga, you bitch gone. You bitch in the game. I don't think she should have left him. I mean, I'm pretty sure, look, lady, you didn't see who you were marrying. Your kids got to knock on the door and some nigga be like, get away from here till I'm through. He was married to football. Mm -hmm. You should have knew better. Like, you should have stuck around. Like, you got small children. What what really mattered to her? It was crazy. And then now you're out there running around with other people that quick. That doesn't say too much to me about their relationship, you know, how she felt about him. That's the so man crazy. Diesel, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to land in a little bit. So crazy. Once they get that money, man, it's like this, man. Once, once a bitch start dealing with you after a while and she get comfortable with that money. What she, do you mean? She had more money than him. In the beginning? What do you mean? In the Initially? Beginning? When she first started dealing with him, she, she had more money than him? She has more money than him. Oh, okay. Well, excuse could've me. Could have swore she had more money than him. Excuse okay. me. If, if I'm How old, you know she got more money than him, D? Then you just said could have swore she had more money than him. No, I don't know. It don't matter who had the no, money. No, no, no. I don't know. As Tom Brady as well. went and got a supermodel wife right. and made a goddamn fool out of himself. Right. But I'm saying, I don't know. As time she about, is a supermodel, and it. supermodels are normally for the streets. If I'm wrong, tell me. Supermodels are for the streets. What are you doing marrying a supermodel? What supermodel ain't for the streets? <laughs> So she's showing that body to them streets every day. Right. The point I'm trying to make, you met the bitch w laid oh, out she, with the monkey out. She has, she's, she's. And she obviously she, didn't domesticate herself because she gone. She's worth double what Tom Brady's worth. Right she's, now? She's worth 400 million. Yes. Which is double her husband's worth. Hmm. Was it, but, but was she from the beginning? Was she worth? Uh, yeah. He married her. her. She was top. That was her prime. When they got mm. married. And they had four, I think, children, three or four. You got a woman she with $400 million. Dollars. How are you going to be with her? I mean, I'm just asking. Who do you know got a woman who got $400 million and that bitch sitting at home waiting on you to get back? You talking I, about, don't, you talking about you, yeah, I you don't know nothing I'm about that. I'm going to retire and be with you, and then all of a sudden the fool gets back who? to football again. What? What'd you say, Phil? Yeah, if somebody look up the, the rate of divorce at the end of 
football is mind dropping. And the dude normally pays for his lawyer and her lawyer against him. You ain't got no money when you retire from football. It's worse than baseball because that's the longest running season of the sport. That's almost a year. Yeah. Yeah. But I brought up him as an example. Uh Um, Your husband, whatever. That's who you supposed to be around. If it's a man that you supposed to be kinky with and all like that, it's your husband. But I'm just saying, in America, definitely in America, definitely in America, women don't choose a husband they finna stand by. They choose a husband they want to show off. Especially if you a bad bitch with money. A bad bitch with money, do you think she going to hide a dude? I mean, marry the dude that's good to her? She going to be like, I don't have time for you right now. You meet me later in life when my skin look like <laughs> a, grape. a <laughs> pocket that's in the dryer. <laughs> Finna get dry. Oh. That's when a bitch with money oh. want to get married. Somebody say husband, then son. Here's what I found out. All you women who go to nightclubs, according to, there's an Islamic definition called non-Moharam men. Those are the men that you ain't got no business being around because their energy is to fuck and ravage you. Now that's not the definition that's in the Islamic (laughs) thing. This is the 5150 definition. I don't think women realize that when men are in their presence and it's not your father, uncle, brother, son, husband, when a man is in your presence, he wants to ravage you. It's just women run around here in form-fitting clothing and everything, don't can. realize the only thing saving them is some guys don't want to go to jail. That's the only thing saving you is jail. If you're caught doing something to a woman, like ravaging her or, or whatever they call it, I ain't trying to say none of the words that right. you flag what you do. Yeah, exactly. I'm you saying that four-letter word they will you go to jail. Unless he homo. Unless he what? Unless he homo. What's homo? Gay. They gonna get you for that. Man, you out of your mind. I don't care if a man is gay. When you are a man and you have a penis, there's an energy, a, 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 a form of savagery that comes out of you when you're around a woman. Not if they're gay. Some of them when you're around a young woman. <laughs> You can say that if somebody gay, if it make you feel better. But see, you can't hide nature. A man who only messes with men, I don't know what he's thinking or whatever, whatever. But I know we all have biological similarities. And what's happening is Your biological savagery kicks in if you got a motherfucking man part and it's meat in front of you. Now, we could say, oh, if you gay, but Marcus, I don't think you qualified to speak for the homosexuals. I know I'm not. I'm qualified to speak for the men in the world who have Yeah, a penis. Something happens when you around women. It's just we are trained to fight that off. We're trained to fight that off. So what I'm saying is all you ladies who are in a nightclub, you are around a whole bunch of motherfuckers who want to jump and hump your ass. So when you come home from the nightclub, ain't no 
telling what happened to you. Did you know by you being, let me tell you something, if you a married woman at a nightclub, you are disrespecting your husband by being there. If you got a husband and you at a nightclub without him, you out of pocket. Hmm. You out of pocket. <laughs> Ain't nobody got the balls to tell you that. But if you my woman and you be like, yo, I'm going to the club tonight. You ain't gonna be my woman that long. Wait, is that it makes sense because Always, or are you talking about now? Because now I would, yeah, that's like an older woman. It's like, what are you I mean, it makes sense club? because it's, it's a place where just, wait, I, let's hear what D got to say. Because she reversed it on me. No, now, what'd you say? No, I just said, has it always been like that? Or is it just now that you're older? Or you I know? think it's always been like that. But when you're younger, you don't know how to express this as a man. Mm. You're taught in this country to let her be. But that's not safe for her for her or you and your family. For your wife to be in the motherfucking streets at a club without you. Easy. If your wife hits the clubs without you, your wife is for the streets. <laughs> Cuz I mean, it makes sense cuz a club is a place where men lust. Is is <laughs> that's what that's what it is. It's yeah. a place where 90%, 95% of the men in there is lusting and they looking for something. So you going to a place where niggas lurking. Yeah, oh, you ain't you, you, you can't be my bitch going up in that motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> you going in the spot where, where, where niggas lurk. But Marcus, you, you know, have you said this? Before? Like, if a man say, Well, bitch, where you going? And the bitch say, I'm going to the club. It's never <laughs> I've never been. In What's in the motherfucking club? Exactly. Unless you just want to dance. See, I used to want to dance all the time. Do you think what D just said wait is a true? Wait, yes. Well, D, let me ask you this: wait. Why, you, why you didn't go to the? But wait, though. I, I want to see her wait. hang herself again. No, no, no. You're gonna hang yourself. You can stop now, D. Listen, I'm just saying. Go this, ahead. This way back in the day. Plus, it wasn't with you, so I don't know why you're getting all upset. It's not, I'm not your lady, so what's the big deal? <laughs> I'm not upset. You can reverse it on me if I'm it make you feel better. I'm not reversing it on you. I was just going to express that, that some people have different hang-ups, and that's one of his hang-ups. I've never said, oh, I'm going to the club, I'm, whether you like it or not. It's never been something like that. I'm just saying my situation was a, a, a little, a lot different. But um, because he knew that I liked to dance and I would go out all the time and yeah. he'd, he'd encourage it. He'd even say if he if he happened to be gone, if he didn't go with me because we went a lot together and if he was gone out of town, he'd say, "Ooh, I want to see what you send me some photos. Who did you see? And we'd stay on the phone for about an hour or maybe even two sometimes after I came back from the club just talking about <coughs> my night. So, so, so. Do you hear that bullshit? <laughs> See, people, but people are different. These are different situations. You, Darlene, I, that goody two shoe shit ain't working. <laughs> it did for seventeen years. So, boop. Okay. That's bullshit. No, it did. D, it you good. bullshitting? No, it's not bullshit. Watch this, America. Watch this. So you telling me? Oh God. You ain't I'm never. Right here, I'm right here. Precisely. She trying to. This is this is deflection. No, no it's not. You're but I'm gonna give my question off. So what you well. want me to whisper the question? Would no, that make you feel but better? You were yelling a second ago, but go ahead. D, are you telling me are you, to you me? ain't never went to the club <laughs> and had sex with a motherfucker that wasn't your man? No. At the club or afterwards? <laughs> what do you mean? At the club or afterwards? <laughs> she, she, she was gonna hang herself. She was gonna hang herself. She tried to play naive. And, what and, you mean? At the club? No. Stop! <laughs> there he goes yelling again because he doesn't want me to, uh, to get much, specific. You see all them caps no, up there. You know that man didn't no, mean I'm at the like, club. Look, whatever, because he, he, he's never been in a situation like that. That's not his get down. So how Please could you stop. even... stop. No, how could you even understand? It was. It's not for you. If your yeah. woman at the club without you, your woman <laughs> is in the lion's den. And trust me, that is true. you're not going to keep not, dodging the lions. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm In dis fact, they want the lions. That's why they there. I'm not disagreeing with him on that one. However, when I did go But out, not D. Hey, listen. Oh, he 
He's just mad. I, had, <laughs> I, 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 I had, don't know. I had, no. I had a different hookup. But listen. <laughs> I don't know no <laughs> nigga that went to the club that didn't go to the club to get bitches. I don't know no nigga. No, that, they can go ahead and get. I'm not saying that. I don't that. know no nigga that I'm didn't saying, go to the club but, to get bitches. But if you wanted to go just to dance, you can also do that, guys. You don't have to go just to meet. But I'm somebody saying niggas don't go to the club just to dance, right. and women know niggas don't go to the club right, just to but dance. That has so to why do you ain't go to a gay club? But that I I used to. What are you talking about? The I club to, is no, full I, of I went people. To all kinds of clubs. The club. I went to all kinds of. Is full of people trying to exercise their predatorial nature. That's why you go to the club. So when you see a woman at a club. Majority of people, sure. If you see a group of three girls at the club, uh -huh. them, they trying to get out. Oh, look, what Michael Hopkins say, he put in 100. Thank you, brother, for that lick. Corey is so 100. If you travel... You kick it with other man, gay or not, party at the club or bar without your husband, then your chick is not your chick. D love you, but you're wrong. Listen, we know this, bro. I, uh, Michael Hopkins, I appreciate you bagging me up on this. I'm trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, if your girl is in the streets without you, I want to know why. I just want to know why. Now, if your girl is at the club again, <laughs> you can still claim her, but understand, she for the streets. The dude who has the cop wife, the bitch who got caught fucking half the precinct, he stuck with her from what I understand. Ooh, that's heavy. Oh, no. He's stuck. He's standing by his wife's side. That's heavy. Oh. She the fuck had the precinct. The one that was second, second day, I, them niggas nigga the precinct. Oh, man. She Listen, can't even kiss man. a nigga in the mouth. Marcus. <laughs> Nail. <laughs> Phil. Abe. Darlene. <sighs> let me tell y'all something, man. It's people who was put out here for that. That's what they do. You can't judge everybody negatively. Let me tell you something. Sluts are the reason clubs flourish. flourish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that. yeah. If it wasn't for the sluts, the club wouldn't make no money. Lames who be married to sluts, they know they wife a slut and they stay with her. Uh -huh. We need them guys. All us players, we need these guys to take care of these bitches after we get through fucking them. <laughs> if you had to take care of the bitch, you would be miserable. You should help them flourish. I have helped bitches help they guy. You don't think they should leave them in the streets? Hey man, Marcus, everybody ain't finna find another woman, man. Even though it's a million women out here to pick from, mm. it's lames out here who don't know how to get another girl. Mm. That's why they get the bullshit. Well, they stick with it. Okay. Some people stick with it. Somebody got to, somebody got to be with the bitch. I'm glad you with the bitch. I really be wanting to tell the truth and be like, homie, I am so glad you hold our bitch down mm -hmm. by you doing that. It take a lot off my plate. Somebody got a driver to me. <laughs> <laughs> How are you helping his situation out? <laughs> he taking his stress off. Oh, Lord. He's yeah, somebody got to clean up when I'm through with her. <laughs> Ugh, you're getting all his bad energy. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. This is what happened when yeah. we... We mess with these loose women. A bunch of bodies, yeah. And you know they loose women. Don't tell me mm. you don't know a woman loose and you at a manhood stage of life. You can't be 35 and older talking about you didn't know that woman was loose. If you really didn't know that woman was loose, can't nobody save you anyway. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Look at her. She look, she look like she go for the bullshit. You remember Black Snake Moan? It's like the little white girl, Black Snake Moan. Oh, yeah? They got the hat. Yeah, she's like she. she, she, she it was more of, guys than that. Yeah, now she wait, like she, she now, that type of bitch now right there. wonder if wonder if all those guys, how many were married and their women stayed with them. 
That's a nymph. Say that again. That I nymph. wonder how many of those guys were married at this time when they got busted, and how many of their wives now do you see them? With them? Listen, let me tell you something about marriage. Marriage is an outdated concept. If you marry a woman, you are setting yourself up to be destroyed especially if you are a productive man. There is no way you go down and get a marriage certificate with all of the information out here about marriage. Factors. There's no Factors. way you should be getting married nowadays. That's a old concept, man. Absolutely. What you do, if you find some girl that you just got to claim with your cake ass, you go and you get a contract with the heifer where you it. are protecting yourself. Yeah. Because if you don't protect yourself and you marry one of these women who are not Thanks. coming from money or get money, which is basically almost all of them, mm. all that you've worked for, all that you've went to school for, all of this is in jeopardy. It's dumb to get married if you are wise now. Now, if you're a lame who don't know, can't nobody save you. Can't nobody save you. She got rights over your body and everything. God forbid something happened to you. She might do something scandalous if there ain't no gangster shit involved. Mm -hmm. If she ain't worried about the repercussions, you shouldn't be getting married no more. That's dumb. Dumb. I always felt it was dumb. Most of the women are going to rob you and take everything you have. And I'm saying there are women who've been taken as well. There are women who had to pay a lot of money for being married. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying a man who doesn't know how to go and get a contract on how things will get chopped up if it doesn't go right. You are setting yourself up to be destroyed. And the reason that you're scared to not get married is because you don't want her to go. And I'm here to tell you, homie, if you're scared for her to go to the point where you will marry her, you need it to be destroyed mm -hmm. so you can be built back up into something that is worth something. Come on now. Now you worth something. Now that you see a bitch ain't shit, and it ain't just Corey talking crazy. Now that you see that a funky bitch is the worst thing God put on this earth. <laughs> Now you a better man after you got destroyed. <laughs> well, the destroying could can continue if they unfortunately brought children into the world with that same woman. That's catastrophic. Children normally come with marriages. It normally comes with marriages. It's like this is what people do, but I'm just telling you, like there are things that we do and we act like we didn't know. What it is, <laughs> you knew it's just you didn't have a reinforcement that you needed mm. to confirm what your mind was saying anyway. Most of the time when you get married, you be like, hey man, this bitch ain't right. That's why I ain't married her anyway. That's why she trying to force me to marry her. She want to validate herself by imposing herself on you by saying, if you don't marry me, I'm a lead. The best thing you could do if you in that situation is let her leave. Man. Now, I know it's easier said than done because a hurt heart is real. That's well. <laughs> a hurt heart is real. But trust me when I tell you, if you want your soul to be intact, get the fuck away from any bitch to try to force you to marry her because that's a wicked bitch. That ain't even a woman place to be trying to make you marry her. That's, that bitch is out of whack. That bitch is not mentally right if she's trying to tell you, I'll leave if I don't marry you. You don't need to fuck with no bitch like that. You need to go through your heartache, find a dick sucker. I'm <laughs> talking about, this is the best way to get over a woman where your heart is into. Find a dick sucker, a girl who likes to suck dick for 30 minutes to an hour. I'm talking about she ain't sucking dick because she wants you to be happy. She's sucking dick because it make her feel good. She bust nuts sucking dick. <laughs> you must find one of those. If you don't have one, you are missing out on the true experience of throat to body. You keep talking about time. It ain't about the time. That motherfucker good. 
That hair got to be good. Damn the time. The time means something. Mm. You you ever had a bitch suck your dick and you get ready to come and she know it and she slow down, let your dick calm down a little bit, then get back into that shit, do that for about 30 minutes when you just sitting in the bed like this. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. A bitch like that. You can fight it off for 30 minutes. A bitch like that. There be bitches out here asking you where you been. There be bitches out here asking you where you been. They don't even suck dick like that. You yeah. be like, are you serious? Where have I been? I've been with the throat goat. <laughs> 30 minutes. That's I ain't gonna lie. That's a tough, that's a tough bitch right there. Did you hear what she said? Say it again, D. Look. 30 minutes is a long time for a guy not to come. Are you like serious? 30 minutes? Then you feeling them back quicker than 30? I thought he meant three minutes. I was like, damn, now that would have been some good She ain't answer your question, Mark. Did you peel it in the back quicker I'm than 30? <laughs> <laughs> I don't give none of my little You peeling that banana out. back quicker than 30. <laughs> <laughs> 30 minutes, my God. Soul sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Man, listen. Them bitches, some of them get mad because, let me tell you something. This is what happened. I had a girl like that. She used to be like, we don't never fuck. I'm like, bitch, your throat is all I need. I don't even need introduce, be introduced to your neighbor. Bitch. What's that song? <laughs> girl, you're all I need. <laughs> fuck the girl, you're all I need. I used to feel bad for her. I ain't gonna lie. A bitch, a bitch, that do, me, a bitch do me like that, try to, try to hold my shit. I'm gonna fuck her face. I'm fucking her face. I ain't you're aggressive, you ain't motherfucker. <laughs> Just lay back and let her do a thing sometime, motherfucker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Marcus said he gonna bust a lip. <laughs> a lip of the nut was busted tonight. A bitch. proper topper. God damn it, I like what he said right there. <laughs> That's how you get over that woman that broke your heart because you wouldn't obey. You got to find a soul searcher, I mean a soul sucker, and let her make the pain go away. I remember one day, boy, when my motherfucking, this bitch, I ain't going to say her name. She left me. But I had another girl. And the other girl knew I was getting over the other girl. I was embarrassed. You know, I was a young nigga. I was in bed. <laughs> My bitch go. Oh, my bitch go. I knew the bitch was gone. I knew it was another nigga over there. And I had to just let it hit. Yeah, God it damn. Hit. It hurt so bad. But the other bitch nursed me back to hell. Mm -hmm. That's why to this day, I'll do anything for her. I'll do anything for that girl who nursed me back to hell. You yeah. know? I don't be with her no more. I don't even try to get pussy from her. I check on her from time to time. You all right? Okay, if you you just let me know, cause I remember I was so hurt getting over the funky ain't shit bitch, cause that's what we do. We fall in love with these funky ain't shit bitches. I laid up under her until I got strong. Mm. Then I left her. Wow, <laughs> then I left her, such a cause great, I didn't want her. Such a great dude. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I, I mean, that's honesty though. Dude. I didn't want her. I'd appreciate I the honesty. Say it wasn't honesty. I was a young honesty. dude. She had a car. I was on the baby boy side of the game. I used to drive a car while she at work. Man, that girl took care of me while I was going through all that emotional nonsense. Now I'm older and stronger. Bitch, leave me. I'll be like, well, good. I got more time for the other bitch. It don't stop nothing. But I'm saying, all that marriage shit is for suckers. If you got a woman that you love and you feel like she love you and you got her back, things you do are going to show her what she need to know if she a woman who about something. And things she do going to show you what you need to know if you a man who about something. Look, man, if you don't know who down for you, then I, I don't know what to tell you. You can't be helped. You food for the streets. If you don't know how to pick a good woman, you food for the streets. If you don't know how to pick a good man, you food for the streets. You be in relationships that you try to impose and it don't work, and then when they finally break away from you like they've been wanting to do the whole time, you be mad and talk shit about them. Hmm. Somebody say Brady is going down in history. He need to. That motherfucker, they was acting like Tom Brady was Superman. 
act like he fucking the shit out the bitch. He ain't fucking the shit out the bitch. If he fucked the <laughs> shit out the bitch, she probably would have stayed. Every you day, a regular she old there, man, ain't you? Got her out there jogging with that trainer still. That guy, I'm like, yeah. oh, that trainer come on, boy, girl. Brady, you know bitch with shady, ain't that? Cold Hold shit, on, man. what is that? What that man say right there? Mm-hmm. Or oh, who's that? Oh, Southside KG. Shout out to Tierra Thompson. Thompson. She used to put that <laughs> Superhead DVD in and go to work. Throat oh, go. Oh, he put her name out. Oh, no, <laughs> Southside. Oh, hey, man. Hey, boy. If a bitch watch that, hey, boy. No, but I'm saying. That's what you want. Bitch, you study, uh, study that, that Superhead DVD and, and, and boy, she really want to. That's what I'm saying. It be girls out here. Mm. Now, I'm sure it's girls out here who got a guy who do something good to him. But I'm telling you, you ain't got to be in love with the throat uh, professional. But they will relax you and put you to sleep in a way where you be like, wow, that was great. Wow, that was great. I heard that. I can, I can, I I, I, I hate my person who I, I love is gone, but this mouth is a prescription for healing. Yeah, it's like a little weed head. Some right. Good, some good weed right here. You know what I'm saying? Get you some good blood. Get some of that fire. You know what I'm saying? Right. I imagine that's how they feel. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never been no weed, weed head, but I imagine that's how they feel right there. That's a high right there. That, 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 that good head, high. That's a high. She get low, but she get, you get high. I'm talking about... I'll I, tell you right now, though. Go ahead, D. I can get off on some good ass, heavy, I thought nasty she was gonna say head. kissing. Just all oh, the kissing just turns me off. Slob in your mouth, huh? I love kissing. <laughs> oh, kissing dude. gets me so excited. That is my major foreplay. I done met four girls in my lifetime. I like to kiss. Dude, you ain't um, even got no lips like that, though. <laughs> the lips, don't, lips don't have anything to do with the kissing. Bless your heart. Your <laughs> they got lips do got something to yeah, do with do. kissing. Not with kissing, no. It's they, the tongue. Most guys are blah, blah, blah. they're all teenage guys, all fast, don't know how to do it. I'm talking about good tongue kissing. So how did how do they good tongue kiss you, D? Oh when you like God. I like when they put their tongue over my teeth like this and they rub it all up in the inside of my teeth and they go all over the <laughs> That place. get you off? And then I get so excited. That's like extra foreplay. And then Dude, a nigga got to suck your chin and the tongue kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga signified. But look. What are you talking about? What D talking about? Let me tell you something. Everybody's got their own What thing. D saying? Different strokes for different exactly, folks. Exactly. Exactly. I ain't going to lie. Because I like that body to body, like when you hug it and that whole spooning and skin on skin on skin. And then, I know what you're saying, D. And then the mouths. That's I like, me. Everybody's I had a girl different. who used to like when I kick her. <laughs> Boy, that oh, used to stop. get her off. Stop. She always get naked <laughs> exactly. first. Exactly. And I had her I sign like something. I sure do. And say, if you get hurt while I <laughs> kick you, it's not my fault. I'm here to service you, and you like it. He I kick it. her right where the asshole is. She <laughs> like it. <laughs> you an ass. Somebody Why? She like used to like when I kick her right in the ass. That's what Bow. She be like, ooh. That's what don't get do. Right. Thank you. Your, your you ass, saying. I hear That's you. why they I say like it's it. different strokes There's for a lot different of good folks. Out there. Yes, on that skin I, li- on I like skin. when we put the skin on skin. When you got some big titties, put them titties on Just your back. Everything. On your front. Hugging all up on you. Them titties, boy. It's something about them titties, boy. And rubbing. I like you a feel good that little rub. Nipple, nipple, little print right like, there on your on your on your chest. I like scratching. Mm. I got nails just enough. Hug me, Nicky, baby. Long. I love scratching. Do you scratch people? No, not to the point where they hurt, but like I want to give them a good scratch where they feel good. And then I've got my my license, so I I can give them a good ass massage. You I'm got a massage, massage license, dude? Yep. And I love if they have good toes. Just putting it out there. Nice. Good put together feet. Oh, it's all in the Oh, mouth. I got some nice feet. It's now, all in my Can mouth. I give y'all a story about this heifer who gave me a massage one day? I had been around this bitch four years. And one day this bitch gave me a toe to head massage. This bitch knew how to do shit with your head. It took about two days, huh? Man, I kicked that bitch out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to do all this shit and you ain't did it before. Get your folk ass out of my house. After she was through, of course. But, oh, Thank you. Yes, I was like, this bitch ain't shit. <laughs> no, I just when she showed me, she know how to hit all the pressure points and shit. Because it's like some bitches just rub you just to be nice. But this bitch knew exactly what she was doing. Man, 
man, I was like, oh, this bitch been bullshitting with me. Don't play herbs. Mm. Oh, oh man. Don't say, send me some. What she do when she get to the belly, Cole? Mm. She rub all this shit, boy. <laughs> Somebody said they got ugly feet. Don't, I don't want to. They could give you a good head massage. They ain't got to go through no head. <laughs> They can use your underarm as lubricant and rub the top of your head. It'll be slippery and stanky. She yeah. got to the chest, she was just pumping up and down. A skunk skull massage, that's what they'll call it. It's like she was bringing that nigga back to life when you got to the belly. She was just pumping him up and down. <laughs> this the what? It ain't got to be about it ain't got to be about triple X, but no, it's just, I'm just saying, man. I, I It was a girl I know, and she said Thank she went you. to a Who party, and somebody... Yeah. Somebody felt on her at the party. That's not cool. And uh -uh. she was all in shock. And I was trying to explain to her. I was like, you in the lion's Part den. The court, unfortunately, but it comes with that. You, it, 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 it is most likely bound to happen. Yeah. Y'all got to, yeah, yeah, women, y'all got to understand that, man. When every nigga that's in the club is coming to get bitches. You coming to get what? He's coming to get bitches. You are a target. Like D, you see all them guys who saying they love you and all that shit. Do you think they really love you, D? Of course not. That's ridiculous, Corey. Are you serious? That's asking all those people when Facebook first came out. People are like, no, they're really my friends. No, all man. All the bitches who be in my DMs, I be having to tell them, look, baby. I heard you, but look, I'm a real motherfucker. Because anybody can do that. Anybody Let me see. Can... Oh, send a picture. I always tell girls, send me a picture of you opening your mouth wide as you can, and I want to see a picture of your throat. See, I want to see. I what is the thing back there? Is I want to see a guy walking mm -hmm. his dog or mm -hmm. uvula, you know, hanging that, out with his mom. That's inside the pussy, ain't it? No. <laughs> a tonsil. No, oh. yeah, right. I love to look at tonsils. I feel it when I hit it. I'll be like, let me hit this bitch. Hey. Oh. What? Thank you, Super Game. I got a tonsil fetish. I still need a date for Valentine's. You like seeing the tonsil? I like feeling the tonsil. Oh, God. How you know, know. if it's a good tonsil? You know what? Damn, Nayo, you better. <laughs> how, you know, how, you know, how, you know, how you know if it's a good tonsil when you look at it? What do the pose look like, Cole? Healthy. You say that right again. Thing. How you know it's a good tonsil when you look at it? What do the pose look like? No, some tonsils hang longer than other tonsils. <laughs> Some Ew. girls' tonsil be real little. <laughs> It'd be up there. You'd be like, oh, I got to try to find that motherfucker. But some girls' mm. tonsil, it be long where you can't even see the bottom of it in the picture. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I like her. <laughs> long tonsil. It tickle your shit. Right. Yes, I'm a Pisces gang. There's a lot of Pisces in there. All right. <laughs> anyway, I'm just letting you ladies know that when you're in the club, all that stuff you see on TV, like G.I. Jane and um, Captain Marvel and, and all these women who be beating up men, it ain't real. Mm -mm. In real life, you get felt on. You might even get something jacked up off your body, if you know what I mean. We got to speak in ways where, you know, the... Right. The, uh, the machine don't catch it. Exactly, because I was going to tell a story, but I wouldn't want to get my cousins in Paramount in trouble. But just... Oh, so we know it's your cousins in Paramount. What happened? <laughs> no, I was saying, I was, no, that doesn't matter. I'm saying I was going to say the story, and the story was. That you, ain't I, gotta, you ain't got to say no names. No, tell I know us that. the story. I know that. I'm just saying, it, unfortunate for that guy. It's a pussy puncturing story? No. It's what a happened? story of just don't get it twisted. The t it was a gang of girls out. And this guy got, you know, of course, pretty handsy. And, you know, it just there was just too many of them. But anyway. It was too many of who? Why don't you tell us the, the cousins, story? Because my dude? girls, they were all girls. But that it guy. It was a whole bunch of girls. Did I'd they jump on say, the guy? I'd hate to say what happened after the club, yeah. They stabbed him up? Oh, they I shot him up. I didn't say anything. I'm just saying, yes, Gina T. Hey, Pisces is coming up. Yes. Did anyway. You, yeah, that's they, a man. I, I have Did they no underline him, D? They they did did some damage, but yeah, that's that's and that's that is rare, yes. But when they go out, it's a gang of them. I seen a group of girls um, fight this one dude. It was a girl's fault too. Yeah, I'm not. They was jealous because his woman was cute, and they was saying shit about her. And unfortunately, the girl said something back to them, and before you knew it, it was a whole bunch of bitches trying to fight his girl, and he was wearing them hoes out. But oh. them hoes, was, it was a lot of them. It was about nine of them. Oh, sheesh. 
And when you fight nine bitches, you realize mm. bitches can hit. <laughs> when you fight nine bitches, you be like, okay, mm-hmm. there's a lot of motherfucking um, manicure nails coming at me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a fight in um, Mel's Diner on Sunset. Maybe you can look it up. Fight Mel's Diner on Sunset. A whole bunch of women with this girl. Um, this, a whole bunch of girls was fighting this dude. And it had something to do with, they was, you know, when bitches be in groups, they started talking about cute girls. No, that's not cool. Let me tell you something. A- attractive women, you're in danger in the club, not just from guys. Ugly bitches love to jump on pretty girl. At the club. Mm. Ugly women love to fight attractive women at the club. Yeah, it stayed doing that in August, so. <laughs> oh, oh my God, Marcus. He's a pretty bitch in danger by herself. You better be with some motherfuckers. You can't go to the club by yourself and think you about to walk freely. It was this girl who came out to improv last night. She wasn't pretty pretty, but she was that. She catch your eye. How can I Turn put it? Neck. To a to an untrained eye, you think you got a pretty bitch. Yeah. <clears throat> but I saw the bitch in her real face. The bitch looked like Nipsey Russell. Oh. A light skinned Nipsey Russell on the slide some oil to me side of the game. <laughs> she had a makeup on? Yeah, she had a makeup so she- on. And she was outside asking people if they got a cigarette. Oh, well, there goes. That's the, the first people, thing uh, she did. She came out there, hey, y'all, what's up? Do, do somebody have a cigarette? Ew, that is yeah. not And then good. I looked at the bitch. I was like, oh, <laughs> this is me off right there. Dude. Yeah, it's a square bag and bitch. Me too. <laughs> but, but she was by herself, and I was worried about her because I saw who she started talking to and who gave her a cigarette. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this bitch in danger. That motherfucker is go get her to the car. <laughs> it be nigga predators put, outside the club. That nigga put yeah. something at the end of that uh, cigarette. Oh. Right. <laughs> dip, dip some knockout on the end of that cigarette. A fentanyl cigarette probably. <laughs> I don't know. But all I'm saying is all you women who hit the streets without your man. I didn't even say the club, did I? Hmm? What do you yeah. think your girl is safe going to without you, Marcus? Is it anywhere that she's safe? No, it's the, it's the world. You out there. Shit, motherfucker ain't safe going outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's not even online because now they can talk to people. She's safe video going to the garage. She, she's safe going, <laughs> going to the garage. <laughs> Marcus, let me tell you some real G shit. I remember one time we was in here and your peoples went to the store for us. You remember that? Mm-hmm. I was worried. I was worried. Now, I believe that they can handle themselves. Mm-hmm. But whenever I send a woman somewhere, my insides be like, is she going to be all right? What do you mean from like just on day to day basis, like in the world? Darlene, when something? you go downtown oh, and you her? pick up the shirt sometime, yeah. I'll be worried about you. Oh, oh man. that's Look so at. sweet. Well, ain't nothing you say that he like be worried, that. But he don't be checking. Yeah. He'll be worried. One he day, says he's worried, but he don't check. Let me tell y'all something. One day I took this girl to the airport. I ain't never fucked her, but I liked the girl. Mm-hmm. I took her to the airport. This was years ago. And when I noticed she had on some stretch pants, they was basically see-through. Mm. Mm. And I looked at her <laughs> and I was like, do you know you could see through them pants? A little bit. And she was like, huh? I was like, you can, them stretch pants, you know, they thin, little cheap she stretch knows. pants. And I was trying to get her a long shirt to put on because she in the airport. Mm-hmm. Man, I damn near cried when, she, when I drove off. She didn't want to wear that shirt. I was worried about her. Oh, Lord. Because I know she's a dumb bitch. Oh. See, that's the difference. I was just going to say something. I, you so she said didn't want to wear the shirt? I don't think she wanted to put on that long shirt oh, I she gave. she put it on, though? She just she wrapped it off. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. She took it off when she got in there. 
That's terrible. I, I agree, Marcus. She wrapped it around her. Exactly. Big, big trigger says they do it on purpose. Women Man, do that. Somebody say trafficking and kidnapping is real. Yeah. It but is. I, I literally, when I drove off at first, it was like I almost had a tear in my eye. Like, oh my God, do you know what type of danger you in? I wasn't fucking her. She ain't never gave me no pussy. But I just felt bad because it was a woman. I'm, I'm like, you lost bitch. Remember that song with Aaron Hall? Dumb bitch. Aaron Hall? Well, you can have a piece of my love. You remember that? I, See I that? know deep piece of my love. You was younger. Yeah. Aaron Hall used to have a song where he started out. He say, "Dumb bitch." No, no. It was guy, it was the group guy. But he's but the singer was Aaron now. Hall. Mm -hmm. Come on, he said yeah. a piece of my love. Yeah. He said he said dumb bitch on that. Yeah. You got to hear it from the beginning. What? He say dumb bitch. <laughs> Man, hell no, Cole. <laughs> homie, homie, I was so and sad Dan for her. And she a mother. She a mother. And I was like, <laughs> you finna get on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> but. <laughs> I ain't gonna even say the airline. It's a hood airline. But if it was really raw, I probably wouldn't have let her on the plane if it looked that bad, if it was that no, no, no. It ain't look that bad, but I'm a, I'm a man. If I'm with you, I am examining you also. If you are in my presence and you are my responsibility, I, I can't help it. I'm checking you out. Whether it's plutonic or throtonic. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm Stupid. checking you out. I'm checking you out. You don't ever look at, I look at busy lips. I'm, I'm talking about, you know, you know what I mean, some head, them lips. Let me tell you something. Motherfucker got them big juicy, them motherfuckers. Woo! Them motherfuckers, they, they about that thick, but nice shape. My Pinky greatest throat bite. anesthesiologist, what, what is it called, anesthesiologist? The people who put you to sleep. Anesthesiologist. My greatest throat anesthesiologist, they ain't got big lips. She That barely even touches the thing. Why they got... Yeah. Great technique. Right. Motherfucker, I did, boy. Hey, boy. Motherfucker was so cold. I had to put my dick on the charger, boy. I think you fuck with that bit, boy. No, I'm telling you, man, some of these motherfuckers, you, I don't, let me tell you something. I don't trust women you, that I friend. am with. So the last thing I do is go to sleep quick around a woman. I got about two of them out there where I can't help it. I go to sleep at the afterward. I am vulnerable. My wallet and everything. I started leaving my wallet in the car with this one girl. <laughs> I left my key in the dumpster. I'd rather leave it out there. The key to my car and everything. Because I didn't trust her. And I know what happened when she threw. I'd be in, in chromatose. She had little lips like D. Her, D, her, lips, lips. her lips was about like D I got size. decent lips. Or maybe a little bigger, maybe a little big, mm -hmm. but I'm saying she didn't have big lips. All my big lip bitches, um, they throat stank. Some, girl, <laughs> some girls, they throat stank so bad, you be like, fuck it, huh? <laughs> right, let me put it in your ass before you put it in your mouth. I ain't one like that. That motherfucker had that funky bro. <laughs> Man, that motherfucker. God, <laughs> deep, boy, that motherfucker peel your shit back. Boy, I had this female. Right, damn, what couldn't talk to her? This I female comic I was fucking with, boy, I swear to God, boy, that was the worst <laughs> smelling breath ever. And I never, the whole time I was with her, I never said nothing about bad breath. But I swear, I'd rather fuck her in the ass than let her suck my dick. I'm talking about fucking in the ass after Arby's. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> we really pile on the beef at Arby's. That's old school. All the old school people know that commercial. I don't know that commercial. The new people know Ving Rhames. We have the beef. <laughs> they know the, that, that's the, the new meats. school. I'm talking about them old school people. We really pile on the beef at Arby's. That's old school. You know all them yeah, food commercials. That's 40-something older. I don't remember that one. Yeah. What? <laughs> that that Nick Carl used to do jingles, nigga. <laughs> 
<laughs> he would. <laughs> he would. <laughs> he would. No, too many goddamn conversions. Somebody said, "Bury your wallet in the time capsule." <laughs> Loose meat, Arby. <laughs> tell you, motherfucker, who else got them good, good head? Fat girls. Them fat girls is somebody on. They had an extra saliva. Cause I guess they be hungry or something. They be when they be when you know when you hungry and, you, and your mouth water. They might be watery all the time or something like that. Boy, that motherfucker, hell, boy. That. Them big girls be mad because I be Ooh, putting the cover over them, man. You put a cup over? The cover over them. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They be mad, especially in the summertime. Like, like I'm hot. I'm like, God it. damn it. it I like gotta it. get. Go in, go in your kid's room and take a thin sheet off the bed. I got to cover your body if you want me to enjoy this. Well, they get a cover. Well, I can imagine what that, sheet, what that visual is. It's like a mountain in front of you. Boy, that big ass that's been over in front of you. You got to open your legs wider. You be like, I'm about to give birth in there. This big, this big shoulder half will give me head. Now I'm hungry. He's talking about all kind of foods and stuff. No, he talking about them big girls. I ain't saying what them big girls can't do. I'm just saying when they be naked and after they give you head, you know how you got to crawl over? And they open their legs and shit. You be like, God damn. Mm. I be playing that circus music. Do, 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 do. I got a little bear in here. Mm-hmm. Damn, one of the throats on my motherfucking phone. <laughs> you talking about her? You like, heard her mind a long time. <laughs> I knew y'all be watching the show. It was probably the one. Y'all with the be throat. watching this show. You act like you ain't watching the show. Well, the one with the y'all be watching this motherfucking the one show. With the <laughs> Is this well, halitosis? No, this ain't halitosis. <laughs> this just, this a wretched one right here, God oh damn it. My this God. motherfucker. But she still got his number, see? This one who, I, um, oh. she don't like me. And let me tell you why she don't like me. Because <laughs> she be trying to get me to go into business with her. Mm. She be like, I want to do a show in my town. And all this shit. I'm, like, she, Bitch, I'm not finna go to your she, town she, and do no motherfucking show. She be up. mad because I won't. She ain't no promoter or nothing. She just think her and her friends can can get enough people in the town to come to the <laughs> show. I'm like, Bitch, if you don't get your stupid ass out of here, Bitch, you a dope fiend. That's why she was sucking dick so good. She was sucking dick for motiv- with motivation, boy. She was trying to. Hold on, what was that one that gave the $10? Show. Corey, I'll be at the show in Maryland on the 21st, I purchased the hoodie, the first to burn Yeezy our shirts. On the shirt, and I got my girl. And I got my girl, oh, the Maxi Oh, wow, dress. they are fully loaded. Can't wait till you come to Philly. Right All right, on, thanks, Charles. Ch- Charles Overby. Ken Goddess, I just got my tickets for Friday, 9.30 show in Maryland. Can't wait. Listen, Maryland, I'm going to tell y'all something. All right, Ken, look at her. Anybody who buy tickets for the early show on Friday, that early show on Friday, that'd be the hardest show. Because people still be getting off work. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's mainly the conservative people who come to the early shows. They be like, let's see what Corey has to say. Early, 9.30 is not early. Usually they're earlier, right? No, it's it's a show started like 7.30 or something Mm -hmm. like that. Oh, that's Magoobies. At Magoobies. Yeah. Magoobies. That's a nice-ass club. Oh, it's dope. Yeah. Um, If you come to the early show, what can I do to incentivize people to buy tickets at the early show? Do we got a lot of 5150 socks? Uh, I took them off because I was giving them to people that were purchasing um, the hoodies. But we, yeah, but yeah. you got some. Like, we got a lot. I wouldn't say a lot. I'd say like a couple. I'm trying to think. I'm gonna give away whoever come to the Magooby show on Friday, the early show. I'm giving away gifts. You have above the law. Those are long sleeve shirts. I'm, I got um, some gifts for y'all. You dig what I'm saying? If you come to the early show, but see, t-shirts they come in different sizes, and I don't know. But I will say this: that's true. it's wild sizes last. I'm passing them out after the show. There you go. That'll work. So I just take some stuff for the people who come to the early show Friday and the early show Saturday. It's gift giveaways. Ooh. 5150 gift giveaways. Wild supplies last. There you go. That's wild nice. supplies last. Mm-hmm. So there you go. That'll work. Get this segment and mark it out, because I'm going to use it as a commercial. Matter of fact, let me get my commercial shit on. Hey, everybody. Corey Hogan coming to Magoobies 2023, January 20th and 21st. Listen, if you come to the early show, Friday, early show, Saturday, which is a matinee show on Saturday. I think it's like at 530. I am giving away gifts as long as supplies last. So 5150 gifts will be given away at the early show Friday and the early show Saturday. 5150 in the house. Got this thing in your mouth. All right. That was good. We're editing. That was great. I'm going to fuck you up, Cole, when I get my money right. 
What's that? I'm get my money right. You gonna get your hair done like that? Oh shit! I'm get my money right. I'm gonna fuck you up, boy. Boy, if you got a line in Marcus, that means your shortness won't show that much. <laughs> See, right now you short and ball here. That's a double whammy on them hoes. They be like, no. But if you got that hairline in like that on the motherfucking goddamn toy lane side of the game. Fuck you up, boy. I found a professional. Man, what's the name of pro? Who? But you ain't like his glue? No, nigga. We talking about, about that, that's Earl, See, Earl. That huh? Oh, that's permanent. He, yeah, you, that ain't it. permanent. Yeah, it is. What, is the tatted one? Because yeah, that looks no, like the tatted one. No, Shit, no. Sit down. <laughs> Huh? What it say? <laughs> what it say? What it say, D? Scalp micropigmentation. Come yeah, on, it's the tattoo. <laughs> oh, it ain't D. Micro, he don't know. My, he don't know. Thank don't you. Say Girls get the micropigmentation for their eyebrows. I had a girl with micropigmentation on her oh, nipples. She no. wanted a hairy nipple. Them like little hers right there. Them little hers. No, that's how they do it. It'll look like a little. You hair. said it right, hers. <laughs> no, I think they take him her from your bike or something like that. Okay, it says Marcus say when he hit a lick, he gonna get that hair. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we tried our best to motherfucking do what we do on the motherfucking fifty one fifty show, but now we have to go to the part that makes everything slow. These loose talk, talk about, about bullshit. Oh well, thank you guys. Uh, and also, really quick, if she's still in the chat, there was. I think her name was Virginia, I'm not sure. But there was someone that was sending earlier uh, messages saying that her and her guy, did, if I saw right, got married in all 5150 gear. For oh, real? Yeah, yeah so I almost that. wanted to see it. I want to see it. Man, if you got married in all 5150 gear and you show the pictures, I, you okay. get 5150 for life. <laughs> we always we gotta send them something every I know. I few like, months just that? on GPD. Yep, oh, yeah. like that was- you gotta, Yeah, you gotta, you gotta show the marriage, quote. Gotta show the marriage. Yeah, show them that. marriage pictures. I almost want to. Yeah, I want to say if you're still in there, she sent it earlier too. She sent a couple of uh, messages. I want to see the pictures too. So somebody say that's the premise of the whole show. What they mean? Pigmentation, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Hers. Oh, Corey is so one handed. We already read this one. Oh, which one? Oh, okay. You see her. I ain't see the pigmentation part. But that's we started that talking about. But it looks maybe they so talking about. I just seen. I just seen. I just seen hers. It looked like little hers. And I think it actually it stands out and looks different because the Hell guy's no, hair is lighter. Hell no, that too. shit. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Damn. I don't know. I'm gonna go do Arkansas, a little consultation. I Arkansas hair for you, Marcus. <laughs> I, th- I was gonna do me a little consultation, man. Damn. Do it No, I ain't that. going in there for that. I want the mm. shit. I want to take her. You gotta go to the baby doll store. The baby doll. Get Put some head. pain reliever in your head and let them plug some heads. I no, I want to go to the one that's going to take the hair off your back, put it on your on Ew, your head. oh, Lord. You got hair on your back? Yeah, you got hair on your back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. He's God I damn, I boy, we don't tell I nobody I have that. a little fro with Brent, too. He did. Oh. You got hair on your back, but ain't none on your head. A fro, a fro <laughs> on his back. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder your arms be wet. Your body mad. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> I want to see it, Marcus. Marcus, don't tell nobody else that. They <laughs> forget about this in about three years. No. If you don't say nothing, don't ever say that again, Marcus. Don't. I you you didn't it. know that that was he detrimental was to your game out here. Don't tell nobody you got hell on your back. It ain't none on your head, Marcus. That ain't right. Oh God! It's he just thought about it's it. It's just spice, though. It, it came out too fast. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't the whole thing. It's just spice. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that it's no just more. A strip. Don't say it no more, Marcus. Don't. Oh my God, that was a glitch in the now matrix. We gotta see it. He didn't mean that. He was joking. <laughs> God damn! This motherfucker got a, a hairy back and a shiny head. God damn it! They said my back nappy. <laughs> your back nappy. If you don't get your oh, slick God. back to pimp ass up out of here, then. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> my face hurts. Okay. Hey, Mark. Okay. You know your beard will grow out if you just leave it alone for about six months. Yeah. Because instead of that little thing you got right there, that thing you got. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what the fuck that is. That ain't even a goatee. What is that? 
This nigga got a. He got the Hitler joint. <laughs> he got a Hitler joint. <laughs> With the little piece. You got a trash stash, nigga. That's what they call that, nigga. Don't fuck it. Marcus, start over. Ooh. Do you know by June your shit'll be out, dog? You just gotta leave it alone. Just get it lined. Don't let them go up in there. Just tit tit this. It landed a little bit. It take about six months, G. No, I'm your man. older G. I'm telling you, it'll come in. I'm but looking at the. Different. I'm looking at the rough no, part my, of your no, jaw. You remember, it used to, it used to, it used to be coming out full. I used to have a, you know what I'm saying. That Why you cut it? it? This little like part it. right here ain't going. I gotta go see the dermatologist. No, see you don't. You gotta that? just let it grow. <laughs> they put a little bear up this half bear. <laughs> <laughs> what they say? He half bear. <laughs> World views got his ass. <laughs> hey, nigga, it take a while to grow in. Sometimes oh. when you, you just gotta leave it alone and trust God. Sometimes, Mark. Okay, okay, trust God. This summer, boy, uh, in uh. June, you could, it take about six months of not touching it. Just let it. it a real barber, they know how to just hit it at the bottom. That shit you doing right there, boy. <laughs> you look like you in the circus, nigga. I thought you was about to pull out some. Balls and start Ooh. juggling them, nigga. I was like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? Are you Russian, nigga? <laughs> I don't like you very much, Rocky. Uh, well, if you don't get that pussy ass beard the fuck up out of here. He uh, said you got a Don King back. <laughs> Cameron Wilson. Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead, try to be better, right. Marcus. Uh, try to be better. <laughs> okay, uh, so congratulations, I guess. I'm taking the- you to the Black Beard Diner. What the hell? Black, oh, bear, black, black, black Bear Diner. The black Bear Diner. diner. I like right. the, ba- the They got bear a statue cafe. of you in there. I can't know. <laughs> it's your size, dude. <laughs> anyway, uh, congratulations to Kanye and his new wife, Bianca Sensori. Uh, even though people are saying that it's a, it's a non-legal binding ceremony that they did. But anyway. Yeah, so apparently he has been running around now with this other girl that used to work for... I guess design Yeezys. Um, yeah, and there's not very much on her because she quickly removed all her social media accounts after uh, you know it went viral. You know, people saw pictures of them together and stuff. But she she deleted all her social media accounts. Mm-hmm. That nigga Ye was like, "Look here, bitch." <laughs> to get your shit. Ain't nobody gonna fuck this one up. I don't oh. need you to contact nobody. He isolated her. Oh my god. So anyway, I I guess they say Ye was in the improv last night, though. Oh really? Nah. Yeah. Damn. Came in the back door. Because mm. cause TK Kirkland and. No, that's what he normally do. He come in the back door. <laughs> oh, oh, brother. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. Oh, oh, my. That was a joke, man. <laughs> when you do that move, I, all I think about is my bitch couldn't. Mm. At night. <laughs> yeah, I saw Mike Gibbs last night. That's he was like, where you get that little pussy ass red outfit, Corey? <laughs> But uh, my bitch runs the streets at, at night. night. Oh, he was there at that night too. And I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I'm saying my bitch runs the streets. Uh, look, this is really like a platinum hit. It is. I just ain't is. motherfucking on top of the shit. That like is I the need best. Be. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Yeah, got him another. Um, what is that? That 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 girl got something in her. <laughs> that's not. That's not Summer. right. She got a shitty dick up, but no, I'm just fucking with you. That ain't, a, that ain't a white girl. Yeah, she is, but I think she's from, I, forget, I don't remember what the, yeah. That's what I was just finna say. That ain't no regular motherfucking snow bunny. That's motherfucking. <laughs> you know he like him with, you know what I'm saying, a, a touch of overseas? Bitch got, a cam- <laughs> bitch got a camel at home or something. Oh, anyway, yeah, so congrats. See, I, see, see if I was an <laughs> <laughs> See, like you were talking about, you That's ain't no difference between... Between Mexican and Puerto Rican, see, I would have thought that was Puerto Rican if, if, when I was in Arkansas. Boy. Is that how? Is that how, how? A donkey, a donkey sound is like that. How a camel sound? Do a camel make sounds? Yeah. Mm. Camel be like, shut up, nigga, let me drink my vomit. <laughs> it be chewing, huh? It'd be like, Go ahead. Uh, okay. Now she's straight for the stroke. Yeah. yeah. What is she? What is she? I gotta white. hit her with a rubber though. Uh, if, 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 I don't know. I think she. Well, like yeah, she, she's white. She fuck with Yeezy. I gotta hit her with a rubber. Oh. I think she's uh, Australian or something like that. Yeah. New Zealand. Yeah, I, I yeah, was sure said some, something like Puerto Rico. I thought Puerto <coughs> Rican was a uh, tropical Mexican. You a stupid ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> tropical, <laughs> Mexican. tropical Mexico Mexican. Mexico has ocean. 
tropical. Osama bin Bussy. I like that. Uh, they say, uh, what? Kanye three goats for her. That's silly. Hold on, that's, well, that, that's how she looked when she was younger. Oh, that's how the bitch looked before all the surgeries and shit. Bitches, look how that man. bitch look right there, dog. That's when she was a They don't even look like the same bitch. Yeah, she did get a look. Oh, they, they, they were saying This look like a major league picture right there. I stop. She's silly. Oh, oh. She got the big ass teeth and everything right there. Yeah. Yeah. These girls go get their body hooked up and everything, and they go land them a Vic. Good he, Lord. Yeah. He reached out. I guess there. that's why all these bitches trying to get them surgeries, because they, they land the niggas like that. Guys have gone. Them motherfuckers right? laughing at tropical Mexican, boy. <laughs> that is funny as hell. <laughs> okay, so. Mexicani. Right. <clears throat> Fuck God. That was my word. Um, I know this. Uh, of course, you know, we only do the show once a week. So sometimes when stories come out, you know, it seems like they're late on them because it might have came out that night or the day after, what have you. But anyway, I wanted to wish. Um, Angela Bassett, I want to congrats, you know, congratulations on winning the Best Supporting Actress for her queen, um, for playing the queen in the Black Panther sequel, Wakanda Forever, uh, at the Golden Globes. She also won that same award, if people didn't, weren't familiar, back in 1993 for her role as Tina Turner in What's Love Got to Do With It. Um, but with this particular win, it marks the very first for anyone in a Marvel movie to not only be nominated, but actually win something so but have you noticed that she won when she got her ass whooping when she drowned and died <laughs> well, what motherfuckers ain't shit yeah. them some dirty motherfuckers no, but they she don't give you no glamorous role um win they was like did the bitch die we'll get a trophy for but it she yeah, played gotta, hella good in Tina Turner. tragedy to, to, to she win. didn't die it's like when they gave Mo she did die Tina Turner didn't die in oh, that I movie. Talking about, no, we're talking about oh, the movie. Oh, Tina yeah. Turner got her oh. ass We were whooked. just talking about that. But she, yeah. didn't, she didn't get nothing for that? That bitch, that's what she learned. Yeah. Her, that's what she when learned. When she played you know, Tina Turner, she won the same award. Tina she Turner won, won, learned. Won yeah, Best Supporting Actress. Tina Turner learned her dance moves after being on stage, after she getting her ass whooped. That's what she used to be like. <laughs> Look at the moves she do. Oh. She be, uh, shoulder oh, hurt. Oh, oh yeah, she was doing them dodge. She was dodge. Right. Uh. Private Dodger. That's what she. <laughs> they just said dancer in the song. Okay. I'm your private Dodger. But anyway, congratulations. Come here, I, I, I love Angela Bassett. She can do no wrong, and her husband Courtney B. Vance. You know, that's that's a couple goals. What about them sneaky abusers? I don't think they fair. Them dudes who fix you up, oh, it's okay, man. Ha cha cha! Cha cha cha! Get your ass. He ass definitely out didn't here. try doing that, old white. Bless his heart. In some sort of peace, like his. Oof. Where are you like that? Like a couple years ago, remember? About two years ago, oh, around yeah. that COVID yeah. shit. It was out. He couldn't swing the COVID. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> anyway, so this <laughs> is. This is interesting. Now, this is what happens, people. Who is that? What? That's her family? Yeah, that's the twins. Uh huh. I think they're 16. She now. married to that dude? Courtney B. Vance, yes. That's why I said couple goals. They're one of that's that favorites. dude with that real um, gentle voice. Yeah. I like, I like them. I like them together. <clears throat> what? Angela, I right. want some vagina tonight. Um, so, what? <laughs> that's how he sounds? Right. Oh, my God. Do it she good. Got, she got it for best actress, huh? It wasn't supporting one. Oh, Best Actress, yeah, but Golden Globes, you're right. Put it in um, the stink, yeah, Angela. NAACP Image Award, too. Put it in the stink, Angela. Put it okay. in the stink. Oh. Uh, so, you done? you done, Ike? Um, so, of course, you know, putting yourself out in the public eye comes with perks and pits, you know, the ups and downs, uh, mostly downs, um, on how nasty folks can get. Uh, and speaking of, you know, somebody, something happening to somebody. Now, it's, people are getting all over, uh, what's your homeboy's name, Boozy? Boosie. Uh, Boosie. She said Boozy. Boosie. <laughs> Boosie. She, um, she put a Mexican accent on him of a Boosie. Because he, you know how he's been, you know, on people speaking about transgenders, his views, you know, on gays, and even his online, you know, beef with Nas X and Nas's dad. Well, now, his daughter has publicly come out on her, on her, um, social media with oh, her girlfriend so head. people are giving him a tough time saying that they're actually calling it uh karma wait no. boots don't care about that 
I don't want to take dick no, no more. But he no, but he actually used to say to his, about his daughter, he actually has some, some, some quotes out there that he would say about his daughter that he would never, you know, that attend. A, she, she better not be, you know, gay or he were, used the D word or what have you, so. Oh, shit. Yeah, so, so that's her on the, on the right. The, 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 which one is his daughter? The more guy one. You can't see the full What's picture. What's she got on? She's got on jeans and like sneakers or whatever, but she's Wait. the. Okay, so the girl with the blouse that's open is not his not daughter? Not his daughter. No, that's the girlfriend. Now, the other girl, that's his daughter. She, she right. messed with girls? Yeah, with the jeans. Booze ain't going to be tripping. I mean, what can he do? God damn it. Oh, what? I know. I'm just but saying. Want me to tell you something? But what I will is bet people. this. I will bet this. If I'm wrong, um. Uh oh, don't, don't. If do I'm it. wrong, what I guess? Uh oh, don't. Don't do it. But I bet I'm right. Boosie met that girl mama in the club. Oh no, that's his oldest. That's his oldest one. They were only—he was only like 16, 18 or something when he had her. So he, he she might have been a high school girl. Okay. I'm so let's saying. try to find that's out. His oldest daughter. Where did Boosie meet that girl mama? Hmm. I bet he met her in the club. Yes, he did. I can pull that up. He did. Hmm. I'm sure they ain't gonna have that on. No, I'm saying like some people um, who follow Boosie, I'm a big fan of Boosie. That's my dog. Right, Boosie is hilarious. I want to know if he (laughs) met that girl mama in the club. That's what I want to know. Like I said, I don't think so because of the age. I'm just saying, it's just more... That was his first child. As long so. as you don't know so, dude. Oh, so no, I didn't, no I didn't say I know. I'm just saying. Somebody I, in the comments said Boosie never said that. He said it's uh, different from men and women. I'll, I'll show it you. It is different from women. Women who mess with women are fucking insane. I'll show you the article where he said that about her. But you know what? This is what he happened with women. He said he wouldn't, attend her, he wouldn't attend her wedding, and that is different from men and women. He said he wouldn't attend her wedding. That's I wouldn't attend I no too. wedding mm-hmm. either, goddammit. But you want me to tell you something, Marcus and Darlene? Some women like to eat vagina. Most women. I'm saying, like, you can't do nothing with a girl who got a fetish to eat vagina. You can't. Hey, what you going to do? You ain't got no vagina. Mm-mm. Some girls like to munch on the box. Mm-hmm. You can't do nothing about that. Now, a lot of girls lie and say, oh, I, I let her do me. Yeah, anyway, yeah, anyway. If you mess with a girl, you done munched on some box. Munchkin. Right. Anyway, yeah, so now they're just You ever mess with a girl, D? No, but, and no. he asks this all the time, but it's in his fantasies. But if you, I'm, and and, 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 and you, you're right. Ain't nothing you can do about that. For, but for them bitches that's fucking with them and don't do that, and you taking uh, plastic meat. Wait, what? What are you talking about, Marcus? That I'm plastic not... meat don't never stop. Oh. That plastic meat be like. Yeah, it do. It stop. It stop it. With, the, with the motherfucker that. When the so, motherfucker arm get tired. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, yeah, motherfucker hips get tired. You motherfucker. <laughs> oh, you mean when they use a strap on? Yeah, when they use that strap on, them hips get tired. They're like, I, I want to watch tired. some girl use a strap on on a girl. I just want to be in the room and watch it. I want well, to watch girl, it. Girl get strapped of course, of course. Of course. He's acting shit. like it's something. Why new. you don't want to see it, Martin? No, no, I don't need you. I don't need you imitating me. I'm here. Oh Lord, <laughs> they'll be I'm like, here. Like, well, I need you. That, I need you acting like me and, 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 yeah. I'm here. You know that what mother, they gonna give you. Some, let me tell you why they gonna give you some pussy as soon as you say I'm here. They are gonna be like, get that country ass nigga. Oh God. Just anyway. don't nut at me, because I ain't going to keep no ball here, baby. <laughs> uh, congrats to Jennifer Hudson. Um, she got one more season guaranteed for her talk show. And Sherry Shepard, congratulations. She got two more years guaranteed for the daytime. Sherry! So, yeah. Jennifer Hudson, congratulations to you, too. Yeah. Sherry, I know personally. God damn it. Sherry, go get that money! Yep, good for her. So she's had a lot of great guests on her on her show too. Come on with me. Also, Somebody say I want to watch some girl get hit with a strap on while eating Jersey Mike's. Fuck yeah, nigga. 
<laughs> he didn't say Papa. Yeah. So there he you go, go. He's gonna be eating Arby's. <laughs> we have the meats. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Happy birthday to Mary J. Blige. She Mark is gonna eat some 52. chitlins while you watch. <laughs> Mary J. Blige, 52. She turned what was 52. that shit on there where they showed her dancing without the music? <laughs> she had a huge birthday party in New York City over the weekend, although her birthday was uh, January 11th, I believe, but she had it this weekend, so. Congrats. Was that a picture of her naked, for real? Where? Somebody yeah. had a picture of her online mm-hmm. where it was like. No, I seen her like in a, in, in, on a beach in a, yeah, like in a, a nice uh, two bikini piece, or something. Yeah. Right. She, she, can she can get it. Body looking, body looking right. She mm-hmm. can get it. I know yeah. I, I couldn't I, I couldn't be with her, but that's the thing. I ain't got a chance with Mary J. Blige, a no financially stable woman. I ain't got a shot with him. Because <laughs> I know me. I talk shit, they talk shit. I ain't gonna do nothing with shit talking content. Uh oh, you can't get with Brady's ex wife? No, Giselle ain't gonna <laughs> give me no pussy, man. Hey, Giselle, Giselle, I like you, Corey. I'll be like, come here, bitch. <laughs> She's Brazilian. Let me put this Tampa Bay buck in here. <laughs> and and last thing, oh, Tory Lanes. Um, they sent us to my room? No, not yet. But you know, we weren't. We didn't speak on this though. But you know, his his mugshot went viral. You know, a lot of people were bringing it up and talking about it because. <laughs> You know, it's been it's been kind of well known in the streets that he has one of those like the the I don't know if it's the you know, I think it's a I don't know if it's a toupee type thing. What do they call them? Little pieces. But anyway, his mugshot went viral and everybody was like, oh, he looks pretty good in the mugshot because he's smiling. It's not your typical mugshot as they took him back into the court immediately when he was uh, found, you know, whatever guilty. Um and that went viral, but of course people were making comments saying that, oh, well, you know, they're wondering what happens when you go to jail like that. Well, they're not going to let you do, you know, your, your beauty things like that. Not like that. Not like pieces and stuff. They're going to have somebody come in and stylist and come and do it. No. I thought he had surgery. You remember when you called him um, Tory Lanez? Lanez. <laughs> I know. And I said, mine sounds better. It's, so, it's just so much. Uh, you you made it right. Because it's a Mexican accent. You made it no, right. Oh, Lanez? That's Lanez. not Mexican. When she first yeah, was she's reporting Brazilian. on it, she was like, Tory Lanez. Lanez. I saw him in the store and I told him, did you see what Dee said, Tory Lanez? And he said, yeah, he said, let's see. And I said, mine sounds flyer, like like Italian. (laughs) Tory Lanez. Anyway, so, I don't know. No, you said it was a, so everybody was saying it's uh, pieces, Mm -hmm. like a piece. I did like the way they was breaking Meg the Stallion down when she was lying, trying to act like she ain't fuck him and all that shit. But did you hear the Mm. tape? When that nigga was talking to, uh, talking oh, to when the he girl. called and he was saying that he was drunk and apologized, he, he, he up yeah, because he ba- basically uh, admitted that he did that. You know, that he shit. called with a tape and said, "My fault." Yeah, he was saying, "My bad, man. I hate this shit happen." He didn't say, "Look at Lavelle." Look at the homie. Oh, Lavelle. Look at the homie. Homie gave me a hundred dollars. Damn, Lavelle. Lavelle Crawford. Thank you. Love you, bro. I'll tell you, I went Talk down there to watch Lavelle one. perform <laughs> Houston, dog. Lavelle. Oh, this is Lavelle Look, dog. Lavelle is not only funny as hell. Lavelle had a whole bunch of fat motherfuckers in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Stacked it. Because your motherfuckers stick together. No, I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm a fat motherfucker, too. I was in the audience. Man. I'm fucking with y'all. Man, I ain't seen LaBelle perform in a long time. Man, Somebody say they see. seen Corey on Everybody Hates Chris. I love to see LaBelle. I was a little swole on that episode, wasn't I? <laughs> I was a little swole when I did Everybody Hates Chris. That's when I was starting to fuck with Doug Oh, Bell. did she hit his back up? Abe, did, did you know that? my man, LaBelle. Thank you, LaBelle. Thanks, LaBelle. I got the pictures from LaBelle when LaBelle came looking on the out, show. Man. Yeah, LaBelle stayed. moved out there. He moved out there to Texas. Mm-hmm. Gotta come through the show. it's cheaper to do a lot of shit. Man, it's a he is a legend. That yes, look like is. LaBelle. What's, a, what's that rascal? Which one? <laughs> 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 Who, Junk Yard Dog? No. No, hell no, oh. man. What's that motherfucking name? DeVita? Is it DeVita? Le- LaBelle, LaBelle looked like that thing on SpongeBob right there. <laughs> I can't think of the name of the character. Did she send that a message in the lady that said they got married? I want to see. Vito, it. no, it's what is some I can't remember this. Hmm. What the fuck, man? Your motherfucking ass <laughs> don't even remember this shit. Just like I don't remember the character. Anyway, I wanted to wear the uh, the maroon, the burgundy uh, fifty one fifty um, hoodie, but we couldn't get in the. You gonna wear it next week, right, dude? I'll wear it. If next they week. still, if they, 
Oh, if we so have that long. size, I right. know, we didn't make that many of the burgundy ones. Not yeah. Well. This one, is that it? What's that might be it. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for all the I'm support, you guys. That bought one. Visra. That's what everybody's saying. I don't know who that is. <laughs> is that who it is? This Wait, why are you laughing? <laughs> Let me see. He don't look like that nigga, man. That nigga oh like me, man. He don't so look like off. that, man. Y'all motherfuckers don't be having no good ass. Mm-mm. Hey, dude, you gotta, you gotta see a different picture, man. You gotta, Lavelle don't you look, look to like watch that it, nigga. Man. I ain't just saying that because I know Lavelle. Lavelle will laugh too if it's funny. If it ain't funny, nigga, then Lavelle don't look like that no, nigga. He doesn't. Fuck out of here. They keep saying it because it's true. What's the character off SpongeBob? A little star good, looking thing. Good job, Lavelle Patrick. and uh, Better Call Saul. Yeah, we got a picture of Patrick. Can we put the picture up of Patrick? Patrick. Off SpongeBob. If they find it, we'll see if they find it. See if our research department can they find it. I loved you in Better Call Saul. Better call out. He did oh, a yeah. great job. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The acting game was on. Uh huh. I know it's on. I'm cracking now. Yeah, but I ain't, I ain't seen. I ain't seen. Uh, I ain't seen him perform. Well, I don't think I ever seen him perform live. Who? Lavelle. What? Now you telling me Lavelle don't look like Patrick? No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wrong. I'm, I, I was yeah. closer. Yeah, he's silly. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, Lavelle. <laughs> <laughs> I know he gonna get me. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so uh, yo, I know I'm forgetting some shit, but what send the fuck? it to the show email. We um, you know, man, we out here making the best of this thing called life. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? It ain't never easy. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna motherfucking find a way. You dig what I'm saying? Man, I man, somebody showed me a picture. Oh, girl, who you think that is? Kiki Palmer. Don't she look crazy right there? She does. That's a crazy shot. She hey. looks great right now that she's pregnant because it did all hey, kinds of things. So she's be, glowing. That, that, Who is that? That's another wrestler. That, that, that Y'all niggas foot. stupid. Mm. That, that, that look close to that. I should have sent them this picture of Kiki Palmer. That, that ain't no, she ain't no raw bitch in this bitch right here. Let me see. No. She got glasses on. She look crazy she in that picture. She look, she look plain thing. I mean, plain Jane. I'm saying she, she, she lunchroom like lady. Huh? Mm. That bitch was lunchroom she lady. She got them thick ass glasses on. She take them glasses off. I bet she. she mm. No, I don't want to put it up. Yeah. I, don't I bet she, she took them glasses off. She's still right. She might get Kiki mad and shit. Kiki, thank you, Darlene. I appreciate Lavelle, you, Lavelle. But it is true. It is Lavelle so true. Lavelle said, thank you, Darlene. I, I loved it. I was so excited. Me and my aunt were watching. I be trying to look who in the chat room. I be getting, I be, man, it go fast, y'all. So if I uh, but I wanted that 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 woman bad to put intentions. That up Corey again. was on like Mike. Yes, sir. The I got when they got married. We want to see the pictures. Send the email. Picture or the picture of the people of the who got couple. married in the fifty one fifty years. Yeah, so let's feature them next week when when they send you the picture, D. Okay. Where they send the picture to, D? To the uh, Corey Holcomb, right? Oh no, yeah, C Holcomb fifty one fifty show at Gmail. Send any fifty one picture fifty one fifty gear. Pictures yes. to that. My homie Tariq Wallace, them had it on at the Lakers game. Oh, and we could do it I again. Get we to used to do that. Games, we could man. put the pictures up during the break or whatever. Yeah, it'd be. Mm-hmm. Why For don't sure. us three go somewhere and take a 5150 picture? We should. Why yeah. we can still do things. I know. Look Hello. and see if there's any games in LA, like with the Clippers or the Lakers. I just get hmm. the tickets. Okay. We'll go. It. I think I've only been to one. Phil, you can go with us. You and you all. Let's let's take a fifty-one fifty. Oh shoot. Field right. trip. A outing. Steve okay. Steve Mayfield. Yeah, thanks for the half a saw. I mean, I don't think I ever been to a, a half a C note. I done been to one NBA game with the Hawks. Bro. You ain't never been to a Laker game. Mm-mm. I ain't never been to a uh, NFL game either. Man, I'm gonna make it where you go to a Lakers game. Yeah. And I hope uh, I'm gonna set it up. Um. The Lakers coach, um, Darvin Ham, is a real fan of the show. Mm. Everybody can't claim that. Oh, mm. for real? Real fan of the show. Um, when Gooch coach? first told me, I was like, ah, for real? But yeah. He black, black coach? Real nigga. Yeah. Darvin Ham mm. used to have hops. Mm. Just like me. 
Dalvin Ann had bounced when he played in the league. The coach of the Lakers is a 5150 show fan, man. Damn. Nice. We should show up one day, take a picture with him. Mm hmm. Maybe we catch LeBron in the locker room when he rub his hair off. He's like, hey, get them out of here. I mean, oh, damn, don't Aww. be like that. <laughs> when, when do you come back this weekend? What do you mean? Like what day? Come back Sunday. Oh, probably too late. Ain't no game Sunday? No, but I was thinking of the New Jack City uh, play. The last night is Sunday here in L.A. Because they're, they're here from Friday to Sunday. And, you know, our buddy Kane is Is Kane there. on there? Yep. I'll go. I'll go. I don't know what the promoter going to say about me. It's Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. There's a couple of shows Saturday and Sunday. Well, stop your head at the door. Now with Kane now. <laughs> they ain't a real one, boy. They ain't gonna pull that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Kane a real one, dog. So if you guys yeah. are in LA and you can support that show, go by. That's at the Orpheum. That's a beautiful theater, by the way. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. <laughs> what was it? He was at the Improv. The oh. Improv. Oh. Last weekend. No, not last weekend. This was a little while ago when I went to see him, probably about two months ago. Okay. And, uh, you know, God damn it, we be out here on this road. Lavelle Crawfish <laughs> sent $2. Somebody. Oh, yeah, hit the like button, everybody. Ooh. How many in the thing? Uh, 8,000. Nice. All right, we got to get it cracking. Anyway. So as we wrap this up, I want y'all to know if you in the Baltimore, D.C. area, slide on down to Magoobies, ride up on your boy, watch me talk crazy. Uh, we got shows Friday and Saturday night. I think it's the 20th and the 21st. You dig what I'm saying? Um, I got to tell y'all, I've been getting a lot of inboxes to comics. Corey, I'm just letting you know I'm going to be there. <laughs> Listen, if I don't know you, it costs money to come in. I'm sorry. If I don't know you, don't be like, I'm with Corey. If I don't know you as a comedian, I'm just saying, bro, because, like, the little comics, they come to my show, and next thing I know, it's Corey Holcomb type shows going on. <laughs> Dead ass. They come, they, they, they come get inspired and think, oh, this is what you do? Uh, I'm going to do what Corey do. I, I need you to grow on your own. If you want to come see me, man. And I don't know you. I don't want to get to know you by you telling the people at the door, I'm with Corey. No, nigga, you ain't with me, goof ass nigga. Do right, dog. Terrence Williams said he and his girl sitting in VIP. Terrence Williams, that's what's up. Where you at? Where you at, dude? It just passed. Like, it barely passed. Terrence right Williams, me and my girl sitting in VIP. Terrence Williams, appreciate you, dog. Mm -hmm. Little shit. Very Marcus, clear. little Eddie Monster up in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Boss Hog, you better stop playing. Baltimore Terrapins. I don't think it's fair what Baltimore did. Or well, they didn't get that quarterback his contract. I mean, like, yo, the Baltimore Ravens are built around brother Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson won MVP of the National Football League with a James Brown hairdo. <laughs> they don't even give MVPs to black players. Like, the National Football League MVP this year is Jalen Hurts from Philly. Mm -hmm. The quarterback from Philly. He should win it. Hands down, he should win it. They are finding ways to not get that brother his MVP. Hmm. So back to what I'm saying, if Lamar Jackson can win the MVP, looking like he about to say, please, 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 <laughs> Please, please don't go. Please, please. That y'all ain't got the right hair, do. That's when it's braided. I love Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson and his mama take care of their affairs. His mama, a sister, they not giving them they propers. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't have um, <clears throat> one of them people, the bullshit a lots, getting their percentage. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Lamar Jackson has done so much for Baltimore Ravens football. There's no way you should not have given him his contract. And I will tell the young brother, if they don't give you your contract, man, just start over somewhere else because somebody who trying to win going to want you because he's different. It was this racist, um, he, um, he talks for ESPN. He wasn't even a star, but he played in the National Football League. Uh, his last name is Hasselbeck. Now, his brother was a starter in Seattle for a while. But, you know, ESPN have a lot of – they got two quarterbacks that were not impact players as commentators. Mm -hmm. And he said Lamar Jackson best football behind him. And it's just a racist statement because mm -hmm. Lamar said, Jackson is – He said Lamar Jackson what? He said Lamar Jackson best football is behind him. Oh. Mm. And – it's a racist statement because they're jealous. They can never be what Lamar Jackson is. Lamar Jackson is what Michael Vick is, or better. Because mm -hmm. he won MVP of the league. Mm -hmm. Lamar Jackson is one of the top five NFL players. I'm not sure many people will doubt that or argue with that. And did you hear what I said? The athletes in the National Football League, I'm saying that brother is top five. Wow. Mm. Because the NFL is full of cyborgs. I mean, they're just titans. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. they're like I'm talking about the players in the NFL are no joke. Mm. He top five. Oof, he's beast. That's the type of credit I give him. Mm. That man carry an entire football team on his back. If he had other superstars on offense, so it probably would be so easy. <laughs> they got his head like, y'all ain't shit. Who found that bitch? That's a career <laughs> <literally>. <laughs> That's what he got the twist, man. That's what your hair look like if you let it grow on the side, Cole. Marcus, don't talk about him. Look at him. <laughs> Somebody say Lamar is okay. Man, Lamar Jackson is top five NFL. It ain't much to debate about. And the NFL got... Thank you. Great players in it. The NFL ain't one of them leagues where the talent fall off. The National Football League has great players in there. That man, top five right now. Top five right now. That's okay. You can say it's my opinion if you want to. But mm -hmm. that man, top five, and I think the Ravens, should have been gave that man his money just off what he did. He won MVP of the NFL, and that ain't nothing they even give black people. Mm. Yeah, I hear about him a lot, so he must be good. They normally give it to some bullshit a lot. What does Skip say? He's better than you in your own game. Put your glasses back on and take your draws down. That's what Skip wanted to say. They said bring some hoodies like them, this weekend. Like one of them little bad -ass it's too kids. big to take. They what? They said bring some hoodies this weekend. I said they're too big. To I would bring hoodies, man. Y'all got to get them online. How they get the hoodies, D? Uh, big Cartel. Uh, the fifty one fifty gear dot big cartel dot com. Well, hoodies too carry too heavy too, for too me to heavy, carry, too man. Thick, yeah. Like these hoodies are not those little thin hoodies. Mm, these are them more, big oh thirsty God. hoodies. I still ain't got one. Heavy I'm as hell. Little, need me one of them, Cole. Come on, man. I got to give me an update. You know, I got the old girl. Right. I'm looking at that shit you got on, God damn it. <laughs> that motherfucking Temptations tryout you got outfit. the burgundy or the black, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's so nice and warm and cozy. And remember, it's got the print. It's got the print in the back. He it's thinking the, of something. <laughs> that's, that, that's that sweater. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what's my man's name in X-Men? <laughs> Man, Magneto choked the shit out that motherfucker in that <laughs> bank in that sweater. You like an old blood spill, nigga. It's burgundy. You gotta Somebody said I looked like the inside of a stomach. Somebody say Lamar number one in my book. Hey man, Lamar Jackson, man, that be the ass since he been a starter. Them people been a playoff team. No, I, I didn't. So. That was the uh, – see, I knew somebody was going to say some hater shit. That was the, uh, what the this thermal is? I had on. They were like, dude, you just wore that. Before. That was the thermal. She had on the thermal. We got the thermals and we got the big 
thick hoodie. Hey man, look, these hoodies, if you was thinking about, I don't know if I want to buy that. Listen, this is not a hoodie that's made. Look, man, let me tell you something, man. What I spent on the hoodie, Ooh. I could save money if I bought the little bullshit hoodie. I don't like buying the bullshit hoodies. I buy them big, thick, thirsty motherfuckers so you can have that motherfucker. It be people coming to my sh show with shirts on from literally five, six, seven, eight years, years ago. ago. I, I am not playing. Joe Goofass, somebody took good care of it. This one guy had it on. I was dying because you know that was a good one. That one yeah. sold out with Joe like Goofass. Joe Goofass, yeah. You know what else sold that I don't, I ain't made? Bitches kill kids. That abortion shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't made it, it didn't sell. It sold on the road, D. Well, you got, there's a lot for you to take. Because <laughs> it right. did not sell online, I swear to God. All right, fuck it. it. I'm going to bring some shirts to Baltimore. Fuck. There you go. I'm going to struggle with the motherfuckers on the airplane. Be at that damn, damn I wish airport. I knew we could ship them out. I could ship them. I could ship them. Somebody says, Tracy Chapman, Lamar Mama. <sighs> what? You got a fast car. And I'm in the... We got an updated picture of Tracy Chapman. Can we see how she look? You got a fast car. Now I don't even know the rest of the part of the song. I know. I, just, <laughs> I remember we were driving, driving in your car. You took me home because of the way I look. And now here. We got to start back rapping at the end of the show, Marcus. Uh -huh. I'm going to give, give you the beat in advance so we can. I'm speaking of, man. So you can practice. I rapped over, I rapped over a beat. You know? Which one? Uh, from the back. From the who? From the back. You rapped over it? Yeah, Where is that? I got the. Uh, what you gonna play it? Yeah. Play it on the phone. Well, right now? Yeah, is it gonna be bad? Huh? Are you, should you give it to uh, Abe? Yeah, Abe, you know what I'm sending to you? Yeah, you can do that. Air drop it. Okay. Air drop it? All right, fuck it. Marcus said <laughs> he rapped. Let's hear my. That's Tracy Chapman now? Uh huh. What is that? She look cute right there now that her hair blossomed out. Because remember, she had it in the beginning stages. That's what I was telling Marcus. Dog, you got to let it, you got to let it blossom. She can get it right there. I just know how she look when she get out that tub and don't be looking. I'm looking at them hands. At the top of the guitar. Oh, stop. <laughs> that bitch got hands like Super Sugar Bear. It's Super Sugar Bear. Oh, remember that my part? God. <laughs> I cannot. That ain't her head, is it? I that bitch got diabetes in the hand. <laughs> not that not bitch got big ass hand. That bitch got gout in the hand and shit. That's why she got that part of that song. And now that hand hurt. That's, that's, what, they, that's what they say. Uh, look, she Damn look it. like uh, Lamar. I'm not. <laughs> what? Oh that's not. They was talking about the quarterback. Look like yeah, Lamar. But the earlier Tracy Chapman has lost shorter. weight, and she has. Uh, look, it's just them hands. Do you see? Look at that bottom hand. Somebody's God like, oh, damn. I can't. Just... That bitch a quarterback. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. He do, he, do, he do got her hands. Boy, that bitch <laughs> grab your dick while she motherfucking suck it. You're going to be like, hey, bitch, don't tuck my dick with your hand. <laughs> the fuck is you doing? <laughs> they say she got hands like, who? The chat room going hand. in. She looks like Seal with a healed up face. <laughs> She got Herb hands. <laughs> Herb somewhat laughing now. <laughs> That's how Herb laughs. She do like she can build a motor with God them. damn, them hands fucked it up. Oh, stop. She could play the hell out of that damn thing. <laughs> Judgment guitar, Day though. hands. <laughs> Bust the Douglas hands. Uh oh, this is Marcus. Let me know when y'all got it queued up. We're going to play that shit. But damn, Tracy Chapman. Them hands ain't on shit, Professor Clump hands. Can't oh, say Marcus in 23. It's like, it's like with her hands, <laughs> she got hands like Marcus. <laughs> Mickey Mouse hands. Shaq hands. Yeah, That's terrible stuff. So I say I look like rerun. Fuck y'all, nigga. Mm, there you go. Don't run. Do it, do it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Don't get up, but don't run. Somebody say she got the power stone. The hands of death. That's terrible. Sandpaper hands. God dang it. Oh, you got it queued up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear what Marcus got to 
say on this shit since he bragged on it. Let's see if, I don't know, when he get to write it out, he do so much better. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus Combs on. Who is Combs? I mean, damn. Oh, why call Marcus me Marcus Combs? Combs. <laughs> That's fucked up. You know Marcus. <laughs> on, uh, uh-oh. Get to him. Let's hear it. Hit it. How the fuck is you gonna hurt a nigga feelings who he pushing from the back? We ain't gonna get flagged for this, is we? How the no, fuck is you gonna hurt a nigga feelings who he pushing from the back? Sway, Do you think sway. I'm proud of that? Sway, don't Good. flag him. How the fuck is you gonna hurt a nigga feelings who he pushing from the back? Oh my god. How the fuck is you gonna hurt Oh, you wanna hear my live? Oh my god. Where you at, Marcus? Come on. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Hey, you know you heard it, dude. Push it from the back. Why you push it from the back? Push it from the back. Oh God. Push it from the back. Well, your rap come in, nigga. Oh God. Push it from the back. Push it from the back. Why you boys are trying to fuck with me? Push it from the back. Why you push it from the back? Why you push it from the back? Why you push it from the back? Come on, let me listen. Come on, let me listen. Make it spread. Bitch, you heard what I said? Yo, let me toot that ass up. I'm honing right that ass like a pony. That shit sound like my big money. Shout it thicker than the turkey. Got them breasts sitting perky. We done switched 10 positions. Think her ass trying to work. Let got go. them thighs and them yams. Baby girl, you a blessing. Hey, Stuffing dick in your bitch. Cause she love the way I'm dressing. Put my mouth on that thing just to go and get a taste. God damn, fuck it, bitch. You done squirted it in my face. Come on, got now. you shot. You impressed, cause you see I ain't no rookie before I start. Say my grace, thank for giving me this pussy from the fight. Yeah! Oh, okay. Marcus, you did good. I thought that was ching a for a minute. I thought that was ching. Push it from the back. Push it from the back. I wish I had the instrumental. You got it, I gave it to you. Play the instrumental. Oh, shit. Push it from the back. Oh, you got it. Push it from the back. I don't even need to be cut that shit off. Back from the from the back. This Corey Holcomb, I'm about to choke him. Eating on her ass. I don't care if you spoke bad about me. This is my time with the bitch. Assholes and pussy. I'm gonna lick. I don't give a fuck what the motherfuckers say. I'm eating on the pussy, so you can't say I'm gay. Yeah. Fifty one fifty in the motherfucking house. Got yeah. an asshole under my nose by her mouth. Yeah. 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 Back, hey, back. Ew. <laughs> fuck, fuck y'all, nigga. Yuck. Fuck y'all, nigga, man. Oh, God. <laughs> we are the 5150 Show. We will not be going nowhere no time motherfucking soon. I know them haters are so motherfucking tired of Corey Holcomb keep finding a way. Oh wow! Thanks. Steve, Steve Mayfield, Mayfield gave another oh, motherfucking half a C note. Okay. That motherfucker like man. Cash is not really. <laughs> no. They um. <laughs> I be looking at some of them motherfucking old texts when the show went south. Fifty one fifty show over, nigga. <laughs> It'll never be saved, <laughs> nigga. Let me tell you stuff, motherfucker. I will not be destroyed. And you will be watching talking shit, looking for us to fall. We are 5150. We born the ball. <laughs> <laughs> the internet, I got it all. <laughs> I'm standing tall. All the motherfuckers who get mad, goddammit, you better crawl. Hold on, T. Curry. Y'all need to perform this at a show together, no cap. I mean what I'm saying. Hey, man, what's my man name who helped put the beat together, man? Sway. Sway. The, the, Sway. The Dog, we gonna get up with Sway. We gonna, dog, I'm telling you, man, I'm finna do a 5150 show in Dallas at this motherfucking restaurant, you dig what I'm saying? It's just gonna be a musical thing. It's gonna be musical. I'm gonna bring D and Marcus and everybody down and we finna motherfucker just have a weekend to kick it. That'd be fun, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We gonna do the 5150 show from there and everything and it's gonna be a music thing to it, man. I mean, like, we gonna bring it to other cities. We just gotta get a promoter behind it. All I need is one R&B artist, and one real rap artist. It was just one R&B artist kept calling me. <laughs> oh, after you said it, then. <laughs> Some unknown. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, Marcus, they says that three six mafia feel. Uh oh. Uh, shit. Uh, yeah. Right. There is Thomas. Mile. There it is. No, yeah, that, that man, that man, that man, Sway, mm-hmm. bro. Oh, he, man, oh, that, he is. Man, that, Come that, on cold, now. Man. 
Man, cold, well, man. Yeah, yep. That's why I ain't never said nothing about a rapper, because as long as we got sway with him. Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. be straight. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. On the music. Sway said, Sway said, man, whatever y'all want to do, man. Man, Sway, whatever man, if we can sway on this album, tour, nigga, we can sway on the tour and one, I'm talking about like a standout R&B artist will, that'll help sell tickets at a big venue. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, it's a lot of talent out there, but I need somebody who's going to sell tickets at a big venue. Jill Scott, just go on here and fuck with us. <laughs> oh, that would be so great. She ain't nothing like Jill Scott. They, they come out to see Jill Scott. Oh, wow. Who, yeah. who you know who fuck with Jill Scott? I think. Man, I want a motherfucker just collab with her on something. I know she like a sister who would take a chance. I can see it in her. Like, what you talking about, Corey? It's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, yeah. Nation wide is on your side. I want her to do that, that microphone uh, the thing she was doing. I oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What the fuck know about that shit? Couple I got the phone on silent, Irv. It ain't going through. Oh. <laughs> oh, he say that shit dope. He talk about that beat. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, what was I going to say? Um... What they say? Did y'all what? Yeah, we did. Did y'all talk about MLK yes, statue in Boston? Yes, we did. And also, um, again, uh, rest in peace, because a lot of people came in late, so they were saying, you know, that about right. late law. So, my man, rest in peace, late law. Real leader, real leader. We here because of you. So, hell yeah, God damn it, we gonna keep this shit cracking as long as we can, brother Law. Thank you. So glad I met you, brother. You was a straight positive, influential figure in my life. Your brother's still here. Mac is still here. It's like we <laughs> still feel picture. like- that picture's great. You, you, set, you set the blueprint for things to be in um, full effect. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be like you, bro, for real. I'm trying to be like you on the motherfucking get business done. But anyway, we love being here at the Quinn Academy. That's right. 5150, y'all. I know y'all like the way this hat matching up with the jogging suit you did. Some of y'all can tell I'm swole under here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't talking about that kind of swole. I'm talking about full swole. <laughs> they said Anthony Hamilton to be fine. That would be a cold. Anthony Hamilton to be the yes, shit. He would. Be oh cold. He got that voice. I cry. Coming <laughs> from where I'm from. I'm mm -hmm. from. Yeah. He got that scrubble in his voice. Yeah. We gotta find one of them big names, man. We're gonna get we gonna get one of these agencies behind us. To the to the other to the other R and B people, listen, man, I know that you're talented. And I, I'll probably throw y'all on the show as well. You know, like keep a rotation where some people work this city, other people work that city, but we gotta get that big name to help us sell tickets. Fifty one fifty gonna sell tickets, god damn it. I proved that by myself out there at the Chicago Theater. I proved that by myself. Now, I'm trying to add a, a hell of a R&B talent. I hope it's a girl and a guy. One girl, one guy. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. As long as we got Sway, all the rest of that shit gonna fix itself. Oh, yeah. That motherfucker, Ooh, really. Sway, cool. Sway, that's what I said. I thought you were saying Sway, like, like Sway the... No, like, like, it's cause some people be like, like when you go to a gay club, they try to sway you the other way, Marcus. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> now, cause they, some people in the comments don't they sway you to rub the hair on your back. That, they be thinking you talking about that one dude. Oh, the sway dude. Oh no, no, it's swayed, swayed the remix god. I just want to make that clear. Swayed the remix god all day long, man. We said Aaron before y'all. Yeah, maybe we we might be able. I miss you. Anyway, all right, so we on it. I don't want no damn job. Shit, I would. I like look at this. I love this job ja rule. Do want to rub a foot? Oh, anyway, <laughs> fifty-one fifty. We live again. We are here to service your entertainment needs. God damn it! I am Corey Holcomb. This is Darlene OGRTs. You know Marcus. What you got going on tomorrow? That mainstream M A N E S T R E A M at six p.m. Y'all got a new couch, don't you? Yeah, we got a new oh. couch. Man, we be updating the settings a little bit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Hey, hey. Episode, what's, it's episode 52. So that'll be an official year. Episode 52 tomorrow. There it is. That'll be All official. Right. So 53 will be, get, be beginning of my, my year number two. Year number two. There year it is. Right. If, you, if, you, if you can make next week, that, that'll be cold. Thank if you, you can, you know what I'm saying? But for that beginning of that next 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 year, you know what I'm saying. But if not, you know, I know you be busy. Oh, what you say? I said if you next week, if, 
Ain't no COVID in the house, is it? No, nigga. I know. Gotta make sure, <laughs> nigga. I can't, <laughs> I can't get sick, boy, because I remember when I had that shit, boy, I was... I don't want to be on the road all like that. It got to be some strong COVID to get you. Hey, you got to bite through all that food and fat. Oh. Right. You know, you'll suck right in under your arm. You get all <laughs> kinds of diseases. In the bag, right. <laughs> you got dandruff COVID on the back. <laughs> all right. We finna wrap this shit up, oh, man. 5150, y'all. Respect. We up out. Peace.